Hey guys, sorry for reading of a minute or two late. Uh, everyone was trying to pull me over one direction or the other to be like, hey, uh, we have friends moving, Sam's moving, so it's like, hey, let's. When you work out and be a hoss, it's like we need you to do hoss things. Finally, <laughs> it's like when you're the friend with the truck, which you yep. have been the friend I with was the, tr- the friend with the truck. <laughs> I, I knew that part. I would never own a truck for that reason. Man, I don't have any more. <laughs> I know. I know. We all need it. <laughs> where's, where's that violin? <laughs> I feel like at some point when you lost your truck, unfortunately, yeah. you were there's a small bit of you that was like, no one will ask me to move. Oh, it was. <laughs> no, I, I thought of that more. So it's only like recently I was like, damn, I kind of. Wish that truck didn't even break down. <laughs> like it's like I've been offered a couch like five times from different people, oh, yeah. and I'm like, we need a couch. It's like, well, don't have anything to haul it in, so oh dang, because you can keep that nice free couch. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's terrible. I really wish I had it again. I mean, what is it? It used to be pianos once upon a time. That's why nobody bought pianos yeah. because mm-hmm. they're too heavy and hard to move. But now it, at a certain point, it became couches mm-hmm. and then uh, coffee tables. Yeah. I had like eight friends give away a coffee table. Specifically oh, really? sectionals. Yeah. Sectionals. sectionals are hard. Yeah. Uh, I hate sectionals yeah. and I never want one ever yeah, again. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> terrible. They're not worth it. They're really not. Just get, just get an ottoman. Call it a day. You know? That's my PSA for the night. Yeah. Get a fucking ottoman. Trucks yeah. are like uh, what swimming pools and sailboats. Yeah. You want to have you want to know friends that have they those have things, those things, but you don't want to. You have don't them. want any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, uh, we are here today for the Tommies. It's our award show. We didn't do one last year. Can we get one of these with me? You sold your 3D printer? You did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I gotta fund my fucking action figure habit. <laughs> it's worth it. You I could just wait, make them. Wait, yeah, couldn't you make those with a 3D printer? He tried. No. See, this is the gift of the well, we didn't have one last year just because we didn't see a lot of movies. But now that we have opened up the cast a little bit, yeah. we have resolved that problem. Yeah. Because uh, when I talked to TJ, he was like, I saw like four. Yeah. When I talked to JJ, he was like, I saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three times. So Uh-oh. that's all. I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't help you with an award show of this caliber. <laughs> I feel like we're getting into a place where things are getting a little bit more back to normal. So... But yeah, like it's a lot of movies out, but I don't think we've gotten back to normal yet, so it's still <laughs> kind of a thing like, oh, it is a lot of movies, but no, I haven't seen I any of them. I was wondering why you guys called me for this one particular yeah. <laughs> 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 Did he tell you what it was? No. <laughs> I just asked if you could come over, yeah, and then you said yes, and I was like, cool, all right, I guess that's all we need. <laughs> yeah, let's just hang out, boy. nothing else. Well, well I mean, it's basically what we do every time we hang out. So what did you see recently? What did you think? And then, I mean, my number one question every Every time I meet up with uh, the podcast people here is like, what was your favorite movie of last year? So it's that, just a little bit longer just kind of you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. This way you don't have oh, to answer that question ever again. <laughs> 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 well, it, it tends to go away mid-January, but yeah. especially once the Oscars happen. Nobody's yeah, asking. Yeah, no one cares anymore. It's reset. Like, everybody's over the last year. Yeah. 2023, yeah. what? No. Yeah, but I do feel like the Oscars get pushed further. For, like, they it's do. in March this it's in March, year. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It used to be in February. <laughs> no one's going to watch it. <laughs> Everybody says that, and then they do. They end up doing. Yeah. I mean, if we see another, <laughs> if we see another slap, sure, I'll watch it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. But that I'm not watching for another. Back. That kept me from watching it for a year. <laughs> it's, it's like I don't want. It's only see been a year like since the, the slap, yeah. hasn't it? Is it two? Is it was it last two? year, and then yeah, now we we're this year. So yeah, it's only a year separation. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, it is. I believe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. yeah, no that, that. Everybody's like, man, the Oscars don't matter, and I don't even care about that bullshit. Wait, that one? How did that win? Yeah. <laughs> what happened if you're not caring? Yeah, I'm, that guy. I'm that what? guy. You're calling me out. I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that guy. You sound awful loud for somebody who doesn't care. <laughs> like a prime example of that was <laughs> La La Land and. And what moonlight? moonlight yeah. Yeah. I said La La Land. What? I didn't say no. That. I said Moonlight. I said Moonlight, and then they said La La Land. I was like, oh, okay, oh, no, okay. So nice. They said La La Land was really. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Then yeah, yeah, I was right. I was like Moonlight won. What? I totally See, expect them to say like, you know what? You, you both, of you both, guys, both of you guys, whatever. Both of y'all went here at the Oscars. <laughs> well, I did think that last year was a particularly strong year for movies it was, compared yeah, to the, it was. the year before. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a lot of rewatching recently. 
And I was amazed by how long the year stretched in a way where I forgot the year began with Megan for a second. Me too, man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Wasn't Super Mario also 20? Yeah. Mar- yep. yeah, yeah, my girl reminded me of that. I was like, was that 2023? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. Like, yeah it's the highest What the movie. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> really? The longest yeah. year ever. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It was neck and neck with Barbie. I don't know yeah. which one came out. Oh, Barbie. Oh, wow. Barely, okay. yeah. It was, yeah wow. it was neck and neck. Well, before the uh, Barbenheimer summer that mm-hmm. we got, there was a lot of movies about stuff for a while, and for some reason they were all fucking good. Blackberry, oh, yeah. Air, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Tetris. Right, like, right, right, right. If right. someone came up to you and was like, here's a movie about how Air Jordans were made, you'd probably not want to watch it. That one I actually, actually kind of do want. Yeah. <laughs> Blackberry, on the other hand, I'd be like, no, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Blackberry? Blackberry. Blackberry. The, the, the PDAs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was a bomb pilot. Yeah, yeah no, we need that. That's the next. That's, that's the thing. We're getting all these, these, uh, you know, a lot of my TV movies or cable movies yeah. that are all about recent news events, like the stuff that's happened that we still remember. It's not like happened stuff- three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a history lesson where you go like, oh, that's how they went down. It's like, no, I was there for that. Yeah, like Dumb Money. That's another one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that shit just happened. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, yeah, get an all star cast. I hear it's great, but. But I didn't watch Dahmer because I was like, yeah, I lived I'm through this. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I, actually, <laughs> I actually watched that. That was I like me some that. That was crazy. No, yeah, yeah, but that was that movie was depressing too. Oh yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't want to live in that space. Yeah, man. Oh, I don't want to yeah, see so. no serial killer eating ass watching cops. <laughs> 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 That's a pass for me. <laughs> Uh, right before Barbenheimer, we had that uh, conservative mega movie, Sound of Freedom, oh take off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never saw that. So. Did anybody see that? No. I've, I actually finally saw it. I, I, I've, talk not, about I've not seen it. Can you tell us about it? It's a really, really long episode of NCIS. That's all okay. it is. Okay, I've heard <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. I thought that it, there was going to be some action. There's a couple like Wait, cool guns. Okay. No, there's no shootouts. The really? whole movie does not have a shootout. Oh, so they're just carrying wow. guns for nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, in best. NCIS, they don't carry. It's, true. <laughs> it's not a lot of action in those, in those uh, shows. So, yeah. It, no, it's a lot sense. more of like, I got him kind of way. Yeah. And I do, they are very heavy with the, like, isn't this the cutest kid in the world? And then they shove him in a, like, <laughs> container. <laughs> yeah. Jesus and they're Christ. too heavy handed with it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's Jim Caviezel. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Once you see him, that you're motherfucker like, oh. knows no subtlety. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Because God's children aren't yeah. for sale. Yeah. It's, he, he played Jesus and he just warped his mind. Oh, it, oh yeah. I was up. meant to yeah. play Jesus it Christ because my initial was a GC. Twice. That might have had something to do with it. But, was you know, he struck he, by lightning he was twice? Struck by lightning Apparently twice. Apparently on the set, right? Oh. On the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Well, then and he was resurrected. Everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Technically. He was resurrected. Technically. There you go. Twice? I think so. Once yeah. is a one. It's like one in a third, million. Third right? times. Right. Third times. I, well, I guess that would make you think that you're special. Yeah, but the third. It look, if it's a third. I'm... Look, if it's a third time, Jesus, like nigga, you are not good at this. <laughs> no, I'm about to say. Yeah, y'all think that no. God just doesn't like you? Don't like that. I'm wrong. Like, but no, to him it was like I'm a chosen one. Yeah, it's right. Like, what? <laughs> No one likes you, Jim Let's see you dodge these bullets. <laughs> <laughs> then we had Barbenheimer, yeah, uh, yeah, which yeah. we did cover. We did. and Both then, good films. Well, no, I mean, uh-huh. not Barbie. <laughs> Oppenheimer is actually pretty good. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> I you like wildly it? disagree. I mean, <laughs> well, wait, 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 let me wait, define I, it. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I, I disagree on you uh, putting down Barbie, because I, I think they're both really good movies. I thought Barbie was good. I thought Barbie was overrated. Overrate? What does that even mean? I thought it was a little bit over for the everyone. Hybrid guy. Everyone gave you the vibe that it would be better than Ooh, what it actually boy. was, and I mean, it's it's not. Barbie's not the only one. I agree with Jordan on that note, but Barbie's not the first movie to fall for it. I saw it six months after it came out, and after oh. everyone told me, right? It was That's really why I was great. saying that it, it it felt overrated because I was like, oh well. It's just a good movie, but it's not like, oh my God, this is the best thing since the cure for diabetes. Like this, <laughs> I wasn't like that. It just felt. That moment was, it was appropriate for that moment because later down the road it was just like, oh, okay, it's just a good movie. Okay, I like mm. it. Well, yeah. 
I, mean, I, I didn't want I mean, to start the debates I, yet because I, I, we, we have like. See, we about to fight after the show. <laughs> it, no, no. I was about to say we're going an overview of the year. I have a plan. Okay. We're doing an overview of the year, yeah. and then we go into the award show. But it's like we don't need to debate this I'm kind so of stuff sorry. just yet. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's all right. I, I I also kind of agreed with you, and I don't want to get too far in the mud with it. But yeah. it's just kind of one of those things where everyone was like, oh. Ken is uh, amazing, and I'm like, he's just lackadaisical and bored this entire movie in a way. Oh, wow, what movie did you wow. see? Wow, yeah, I don't I didn't get that. He out didn't want to be there, it like, like in the sense really that, like, to be. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Ryan Gosling step up. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that he didn't. That Ryan Gosling didn't want to be there. I'm saying that all Ken wanted was Barbie's attention, and then once he realized, like, oh, I can be okay without it. Like that's his big realization to his plot. Yeah. I'm not saying that anything about it was overwhelmingly <laughs> bad, but it's just like so many people were like championing it as they're like, oh, it's this really big feminist movie or all this yeah, other stuff. I, I and I and really was just that. like everything's kind of subtle actually. Like it's like even the Will Ferrell evil boss people, they're not even they're just dumb. Like they're not that's exactly point, though. I get that's the point, but oh, when you have dumb? poor Are things in the same year where it's just like, <laughs> Oh yeah, like this is not gonna be subtle and everything is right, right in your face. <laughs> it just felt but it also poor things wasn't super overrated. It wasn't super overrated in me. I had three people say it was good. That yeah. was that's the difference. I like poor things. I did like I poor things. Actually too. Great. Yeah, it's I really good. I thought it was the best movie. Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Bella <laughs> likes so, it. So you want to be oh. overrated. <laughs> <laughs> See, four people told me they like I did yeah. like poor things a lot. Poor things is good. Yeah. Right. We best movie is a topic, but uh yeah, yeah. we'll go, sure, and go we'll get on to the, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, after that, we had the start of Oscar season, kind of with Killers of the Flower Moon, and I, I didn't see that, <laughs> and I don't think I want to see hours. that. <laughs> I mean, his, his, if I'm not mistaken, his last two movies were over yes. three hours. Yes, the Irishman. Was, was, the Irishman, I actually watched like <laughs> I had to watch like five times. I had to watch the Irishman like um, Justice League, or was it that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched. Yeah, the Sonic. Yeah, I had to watch it in portions because I'm like, God damn. I'm, it's only two hours in? Yeah. We got one more hour left? <laughs> they should have caught this up like Roots. Like, <laughs> that should have been a mini series. Yeah. But it just, it was so long. But th- I didn't see Flowers in the Moon. I want to see that probably later on this weekend. But It's on Apple TV for free. Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't got no more subscription money, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many subscriptions already. I don't need no more subscriptions at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pirate this. I mean, that's, there are movies that, I mean, I didn't see. I, I mean, I know it's your job to review movies on Tuesdays kind of thing. But like, did you see? See everything that came out. I you mean, it would be did. sixteen and nine, like Tetris. Oh, I don't know about Tetris. I watched most of Tetris, not because it was bad. They they sent me a link. Yeah, and I started it, <laughs> and then I got called. You away. start playing Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of like it was just one of those where I was like, "This is good. I need to come back when I have time to watch it." Absolutely, everything else came out. Yeah, Yeah. that happens to me too. Yeah, Yeah. and that's kind of like the overall problem with a lot of these things, where it's just like I think I saw seventy percent of the good to great movies out there, Mm -hmm. but there's still a lot that it's just kind of like I don't have Apple TV. But man, I think now we're in a time where it's almost split. Like back in the day, it was like, "Oh, these are the Oscar movies of this year." It's like a list of what eight movies, eight to ten movies yeah, or it, something. Uh, you can knock, you know, get rid of that. But now you have like Blackberries. You have movies that are like this great. shit didn't get nominated for yeah. anything, but it's really but fucking it, good. Oh, yeah, but yeah. it's almost all. It's almost every year though. Yeah. I feel like there's almost. Wait, I wait, feel like it's more. Of quick question stuff. though: Has the best movie nominee always been ten movies? No, no, no. no, no, no. That was, that's when last is it? a fairly years. recent thing. Yeah. Yeah. God damn, that's a, like a lot of fucking movies yeah, to no, be they, nominated they for Best Film. They, 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 they know, they know. I mean, they got, they had everybody complaining that it was <laughs> always the, you know, like Tommy said, he's, he's six to eight movies. Yeah. Yeah. And what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And they're like, throw the dark oh, knight in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody who's complaining, we don't uh, nominate enough uh, ethnic movies or genre movies. <laughs> they try to get caps like every day. We can, we can, yeah. we can throw it in there. You can say, hey, we saw it. We gave it some love. We even, look. It ain't going to win. Right, but we, we, put in yeah. Yeah. we put in the black thing, okay? Just to make all the black people happy, we put in the black thing, okay? <laughs> I, I remember people because Chris Rock hosted the Oscars, didn't he? One time, well, yeah, he did. He got he slapped. Got slapped. Yeah. yeah, but no, he didn't before host, that, he wasn't that yeah. Oh, was well, oh, really? He was no, just no, a presenter. He, he was Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, he was just a presenter. Jim, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel was the host. Oh, yeah. Two then years maybe he just had a second. See how history but, goes? But he host before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he was like, yeah, a couple yeah, times. Yeah. He, well, <laughs> that was when he hosted. He made a joke about Jude Law, and, and Sean Penn got his nose out of joint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and his, I don't know what he's talking about. Jude Law is a fine actor. It's like, 
Bro, as a joke, sit the He's fuck the down. He's the most serious <laughs> motherfucker. I it's know. funny, I watched Carlito's Way the other day. I'm like, where'd uh, that guy go? I did that show. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? I was trying to imitate Al Pacino. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that guy went. <laughs> Yo, it's funny, I always, side note, I always bring up how my pop showed me Scarface at seven. He showed me Carlito's Way at eight. Oh, oh wow. wow. Double featured it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was okay. Well, he was okay. Well, well, kudos to, to Carlito's Way, but uh, Scarface, they can show you that. It's a, it's a goddamn cartoon. It really is. <laughs> you were seven, yeah. That you know, that's sense. the thing. Like, I was bored with Carlito's Way back then, and I watched it, of course, as an adult, and I'm like, no, this is great. Now, yeah, this is yeah. a good movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, no, Scarface <laughs> is clownish and buffoonish. <laughs> <laughs> when people revere it, you're like, hey, I, I never understood it, man. I was like, you got t shirts and shit. Like, yeah. it's fun, it's entertaining, but uh-huh. that shit is a comedy. <laughs> it really is. I think I saw it whenever it first came out. I Not mean, in the theater, but on HBO. Yeah. And I was like, you know, freaked out by the chainsaw scene. And everything. <laughs> Yo, that shit gave me nightmares. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah all, all into it. But later, as an adult watching it, yeah, it's a whole like, different story. It's different, fact, man. Okay, so the way I got, I saw it later. We got invited to this conference in Miami. Yeah, uh, me and Corey and Tony and and Chris, and it was Hispanicized, and yeah. it was all about bringing uh, Latin Americans, uh, you know, over to like teaching, like introducing them to technology. Nice. Yeah. And it was an expensive convention, and and somebody talked them into bringing us on as guests. Mm-hmm. And so they, it was a whole weekend of stuff. And one of the things was a tour to the Scarface Mansion, and mm. the, and the host was. Um, uh, um, um, what's his name? Stephen Bauer. Oh, who, okay. You know who, yeah, yeah, yeah. who plays the you know his second in command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and uh, Don Eladio on uh, Breaking Bad. And it wasn't the actual Scarface Mountain um, <laughs> Mansion. It was one like it. Yeah. But it was you know open bar and uh, and, and uh, refreshments and, and food and all. Did they have but, the little world is yours glove? They had. To. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no. But <laughs> That's it, the but, main part but, of it. But the whole thing was to. Project do a projection uh, screening of the movie outside for mm. everybody to watch. But Stephen Bauer came on to introduce it, yeah. and before starting the movie, he wanted to get up there with his band and play guitar. And he was drunk as shit, and he's playing, and then he started yelling at everybody because they weren't paying attention to him. Then, <laughs> hey, you guys need to get out of your egos and listen to some real music up here. And and then it, 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 oh, it no. started drizzling, and they were playing a movie. We were watching it. And this is me watching it for the second time, and I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, "Because it's stuck is now." This? It's yeah, 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 yeah. All these, all these years, I thought this was a, a good or at least decent movie. Yeah, this, yeah, like you say, it's clownish. It is. That, that, that it accent. truly is. Yeah, it's the accent crazy, threw me off. Man. That's why I was like, and I went out and heard his regular voice. I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, yeah. it's it just bad. didn't sound right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's so, so bad. So bad. And the the, the whole, parodies of his voice are probably more on the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's so over the top, man. It's just like I can't take this character. Well, that, I, I, I can't either. And this well, whole that character inspired Scott Hall, and Scott Hall, I literally thought was more Hispanic than I it, thought he was. His name was Razor Ramon. Yeah, was yeah, like, Razor he's Ramon. Clearly Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> and Ray, Scott Hall was watched that movie and was like, "I'm gonna do that." Out in the ring, he and did then it way better. <laughs> way better. And it's funny with like Stephen Bow, like this is his only. It's like his thing. Yeah. Like anytime there's a big Scarface thing, he is there, mm-hmm. and he is all about it. He's the one part I haven't seen Al Pacino <laughs> co-sign know, Scarface was like, ever. Please don't bring that. Yeah. I, I think that this is everywhere. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was doing something back then. You know, I said it was real. I'm not, I'm just it was the '80s, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. if anyone was uh-huh. doing something, uh-huh. it was Al Pacino. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Listen to me play." Play some real mix. He out there playing Texas Hold'em. Because <laughs> you go back and watch The Godfather, he's, he's, he's got a voice like this. He yeah. also talked like yeah. this. So how did it all of a sudden get How the hell did you go from a, a demure, <laughs> subtle Italian <laughs> yeah. to a, a brash Cuban? <laughs> yeah. Like, look, Al Pacino, you're good, man. You are. Yeah. But you ain't that good. <laughs> you ain't that good, man. I'm sorry. You are a legend, but you, you know. That movie wasn't so loved. Like, basically, he got lucky that he played Hispanics that are just like, we're we're just happy we're here. Right, yeah. Like right. when uh, Shia LaBeouf was in that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were like, hey, he's there and he's doing okay. And it's just like, you're accepting the bare minimum right, <laughs> right. now. Just so you know. Right, right. You deserve better. Hey, but but, back but back like then, um, John Wayne playing uh, oh, Genghis Khan. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the, the Mongols haven't been on screen like Mulan and that's it. Like, right. 
Yeah. So they were just happy. And it was like some sort of representation. <laughs> of <Kong's> representation. <laughs> I mean, but if it's Genghis Khan, he got a lot of representation. <laughs> you don't know if you his great king, great right. king kid or not. So it's Everyone like, I could like be a representation Kong. of Genghis Khan. <laughs> but it's more like back then, man, they didn't give a flying yeah. fuck. Italian. No. Hispanic, same thing. It like John Leguizamo played, uh, he played Luigi. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hector Elizondo. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, Italian, uh, Puerto Rican, uh, Jewish. Yeah, he, he, same he, thing. All you got the same color. Hell, that's it. They'll get you. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for the review of the year, except for like, I would say December kind of surprised me because okay. I just had my dart on Iron Claw mm-hmm. and then like, Six other movies popped up that yeah. are just like, you should probably see this, which some of them I didn't need to see, like Napoleon, honestly. You, know. <laughs> you really don't. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know yeah. I, I, did, have I did see it to review it just because I was it's like. It's not the worst. But it ain't the no, worst. It's just, it's just it's like. It's just there. Yeah. But I do have a general question because if I'm not mistaken, Napoleon was French. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> you you would think <laughs> somebody tell Joaquin Phoenix that. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Does it does it take points away from a film, a historical film where the character is foreign, and the person that's playing them is not speaking that language? It does when everyone else like like you have a movie when, when everyone are, else is literally speaking with an accent like yeah, in that movie. Well, yes, you know, like you, you'll have movies that are about some other European country, mm. but everybody speaks with a British accent, right? And you just kind of go with it. Yeah, it's consistent at least. It's consistent. Yeah. But with Napoleon, everybody's speaking with their British accent. Right. And Napoleon, I mean, and Joaquin is American as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and ain't even trying. You know what it reminded me of? Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. It oh, reminded yeah. me a oh, lot yeah. of Robin yeah, Hood. Yeah. Accents are no, all no, 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 no. R- Ridley Scott is clearly like, yeah. eh. Fuck yeah. It, fuck, yeah. 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 Uh, ethnically accurate, who cares? But, but this see, battle scene, though, I'm putting all the effort in. Look, <laughs> like, that's see, really, that's look, Ridley but, Scott. Look, thing, look. We, we talk shit about Jim Caviezel, but at least the man, what, was it Latin? Or was it Latin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like he spoke it, yeah. so it's like give kudos to that guy in the film. But man, I, yeah, it I, helps. I, I don't want to give him kudos. I, kudos. I, I feel like that's, that's part of what led to his downfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, he's racist as fuck. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know this. I, this is I will say, like, I saw Taraji P Henson. I saw probably 30, 45 minutes of yeah. Napoleon. The thing that killed it for me is like, yes, the action sequence the are very sequence good. Is yeah, amazing. they're Great. fucking yeah. beautiful. But him, he he just spoke like an emo kid yeah. in between yeah. every scene yeah. where. It was just kind of like, tell me no other man has been between your legs. And I was just like, okay, like you're trying. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it took me back to Keanu Reeves and uh, Dracula. Friend of Dracula. Oh, no. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> It has a dark place. <laughs> <laughs> Say one actor can't ruin a movie. That's why. That's why. Yeah, that yeah if you put him in the lead, yeah, yeah he can ruin a big the- role. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Because um, when Jordan brought up like. Do their accents being wrong like bother you sometimes? Yeah, it's uh, one of the things that came to my mind that didn't bother me the entire movie. I'm just kind of like, oh, everyone just speaks like an old British person. Is um, was it uh, Achilles or when Brad Pitt played oh, Achilles? Troy? Troy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'm just kind of like, all right, they just didn't even try. Let it go too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever reason. That, in some movies, you can, it's easier to yeah, let yeah, it go. You're, than you're, you're right. You're yeah. right. Sometimes, sometimes you just let it go. Oh, what about films that? There's a Spanish character, for example. They speak one sentence in Spanish, and then they speak the rest of the uh, dialogue in English. What movie was it? Uh, Spider-Man was like that, wasn't it? Spider-Man? Man. Sp- the, across the Spider-Verse, didn't they say like some bit of Spanish, and then they went it back into English? Oh, you mean just talking sp- Tex-Mex like, kind yeah, of like, thing? Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, they all speak Spanglish. That part yeah. didn't bother me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why well, here's the here's the problem that it's really hard to bother me for the most part because one of my favorite movies was when you were brought up like I watched Scarface at eight or nine was Highlander. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like Sean Connery is a Spaniard yeah, right. with a Scottish, Scottish accent. accent. <laughs> yeah. Scottish accent. They didn't try to change it at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't changing. But, but it's, it's Sean Connery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins is the same way. He ain't changed his accent for shit. That's anymore. true. Yeah. No. It's it's done. <laughs> <laughs> what have you get now is what you um, get. So we have an award at a certain point for, wor- like, uh, basically who put in their worst performance. I mm-hmm. did a Google search. I didn't see this movie, but I didn't know Anthony Hopkins apparently played Freud in a movie this year. Oh, yeah. He did, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. If it was, is it any good? It's, it's all right. It's, okay. It's, honestly, it's the kind of movie that I usually like a lot, mm. and I just thought it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, honestly, I like... 
I, I, by the time it got to the end, I was like, oh, so that's all this was. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I, I, like I said, I love movies like that, like like the Two Popes. I love that. Two Popes actually yeah. good. That was yeah. actually really good. good. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Well. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button now, but okay. yeah, the, this is the Tommies. It's yeah. going to be just an overall award show over 2023, and it's a little bit closer to the MTV Movie Awards than it is the actual uh, Oscars. Yeah, I'm my re- best picture is none of those Oscars. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> was none of that being recorded? <laughs> no, oh, yeah, no, no, no it was. It was yeah, like yeah, a little yeah. <laughs> He's out of this talking for nothing. <laughs> Welcome to this year's Tommy. This music doesn't help for an award show. (laughs) My name is Marcos. I will be your Chris Rock. Please no one slap me here today. But uh, I am not alone. Hey, as long as you keep my wife's name out your (laughs) face. Marcos, you're you're a big dude. Will Smith will never (laughs) say As you can hear on my right, we have... Oh, Martin. Martin Thomas. Yes. yes. Sorry. Definitely golf clap, golf clap. Don't clap. <laughs> I said golf clap. <laughs> That's a deep movie cut no one will ever reference again. <laughs> uh, across from me in the Trigger the Bloodshed t-shirt. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, happy uh, last day of Black History Month. I hope everyone learns something about black history because tomorrow corporations will go back to discriminating against blacks by not building a Whole Foods in the hood. <laughs> or Trader Joe's. Or oh, Trader Joe's. We're going to be stuck with Walmart and Aldi's. <laughs> I, I just discovered all of these. Like, oh, like did you check the expiration date on the milk and say, oh, it's two days old? That's nah, good. It's nah, still nah. good. Food club and f- food line. Those yeah, are food different. Food line, yeah. you, you take a risk. <laughs> food line's rough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm Tommy. How the fuck are you? Well, we're starting out with a little character. <laughs> what the, the Tommy and Tommy McGrew's reviews. Yeah. <laughs> We are starting with a bit of a controversial topic because uh, you hate animated films, is the way Sam See, would put it. This is like a whole thing. You're a, you're <laughs> animated films? I do not. I don't Since like when? children's animated films. I like it. Oh, animated. you don't like Coco Melia? <laughs> <laughs> We know I don't. <laughs> no, like I mean, look, Martin is judging me now. Like, I just, well, well, now they just said animated films. It's more hey, than narrative. And you're saying. Only certain animated films. Only certain. I know I didn't clarify that that it's much like, last time. <laughs> yeah, no, just like like Into the Spider-Verse, love it. Like, absolutely. I absolutely That's love that. That's a children's. That's an easy one. It's a PG-13. It's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> the PG-13 and above, I'm okay with anime, fine. But like <laughs> Pixar, Disney, I just, I can't. So, so, no, none wait, of Toy Story. No, I hate Toy Story. What? I fucking <laughs> Wait, so you, the you, first two okay. So when you have a kid and your kid turns on, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. You're like, turn that shit off, motherfucker. Nah, he's going to make him watch Starfish. <laughs> right, right, right. No, right, no. right, right. Carlito's way. <laughs> I'm going to show my kid the good version of Scarface, which is Carlito's way. Real shit. Real movies, Joy. Real okay. cinema. You know, none of that fucking <laughs> elemental bullshit. Well, I will Real say, man. from what I've learned about the Oscars is they vote the way, like, just off vibes. Like, yeah. oh, my kid liked this movie. Movie. They don't watch most of these movies most of the That's time. That's true. Um, well, they, they have friends say, hey, you should vote for this one. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're all voting for this one. Okay, I, I, yeah, I can do that. Serenity, I'm sorry. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to go this way 
That way, yeah. just Martin can pick up on it because uh, he he wasn't prepared. You guys had the categories ahead of time. Yeah. Wait, we go, where, 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 where are we going? You're second. Okay. Am I first? Fuck. I am first. Okay. Uh, so my favorite movie last year, animated movie, right. and this is kind of a surprise because I was like, this is the dumbest premise ever, and it's basically Adam Sandler yelling at kids for an hour and a half, but I really liked Leo for his... Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? I, I, I watched it because, like, all right, they said, yeah, I got to watch it. It's Adam Sandler. Oh, great. Is it going to be... Uh, 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 he's doing his dumb again. voice for the whole movie. And he's doing that at first, and I was like, you know what, man? Like, 15 minutes in, I was like... I gotta admit, I'm I'm kind of charmed by this movie. <laughs> by the end, I was like, "Man, everybody's I'm gonna get crucified," but I I really dig this. Okay, the, I've never heard of this movie. It's, it's on, on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I'll watch it on Netflix. I'll watch it. Okay. <laughs> it's weird for a kids movie where it's just basically Gen X giving life advice, so you might hate it. Honestly, oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I'm already out. I learned to get shit from Gen X. Don't fit my life. Martin's good. Martin Coy, the only good ones. I don't know, man. You millennials, y'all, y'all got lots of to... <laughs> Well, you're not even giving advice to millennials. You're giving advice to Gen Z. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, forget that. That's a lost cause. <laughs> well, they're your kids anyway. So. <laughs> it ain't working already. But, but there's like a certain like plot point where I was just kind of like, this is a kids movie, and I don't actually know how they resolve it. They, ju- they just throw the fucking iguana in the middle of the Everglades. What? Yep. What kind of movie is this? It, oh, oh, yeah, where <laughs> you have a villain who um, who gets reformed. And then goes right back to doing the same thing. I love thing. that though. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're like, oh, here's 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 their redemption arc, yeah. and they they backslide. <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I like yeah. that. You're and like, the God, and damn. the and the backslide legitimately makes sense for yeah, their character yeah, growth. Yeah. yeah. And I'm it's just kind of like, I didn't this. expect this from a kids movie. I'm gonna be you're really wrong. making me want to watch this. <laughs> like, watch a little review. Okay, look. I'm a, I'm a, as you know, seeing this and thinking of my whole animation take. I feel kind of bad because I kind of was thinking of I don't like kids animated movies, but I fucking love Puss in Boots. <laughs> I like Mario, like so. Okay, well, just Pixar and Disney. Oh, yeah, so just Pixar and Disney. Well, Mario stop. is like made for us in it's a way just where what, it's just like you. You, and you have to be older to get these references. Yeah, and Puss in Boots is about how to live a good life. It's not it's exactly good. for kids. Yeah, no, it's just a good movie. <laughs> yeah, and like Mario was exactly what it said it was, and I respected the fuck out of it. I was like, you gave me nostalgia, you just gave me colors and prettiness and all this stuff. I remember. <laughs> so I, I'm a millennial. That's all that takes. So yeah, I was sold with that. That was fine. You gave me catchy songs. Yeah, that's it. We're easy. Corporate America, we're re- easy. Re- 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 <laughs> I don't know how you get me. You everything you already bought. Yeah, I'm going to buy it three times, Martin. I will buy that shit three times. Uh, I, I, you know, I will say that watching the Super Mario Brothers, it did make me go, I want to play that now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it did. Which, you know, is a, is a win for yeah. something like that. Nintendo did it. Yeah. yeah. He succeeded. Well, Jordan, what is your best animated movie? It's simple. as Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Uh, that was all. I didn't leave. I didn't like the cliffhanger at the end because it was just like random, but I actually really enjoyed that film. Yeah. I'm a, yeah, same here. Like that to me. I got yeah. thugged out Miles Morales. Cornrows? <laughs> <laughs> Cornrows. Like, okay. Okay, went from a black man to a whole you nigga. Knew, you knew he was in business. Yeah, you know? he stand he stands on business. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, but yeah, I do like uh, Into the Spider Verse. I, I would say Mario will be close second though. Same, yeah, yeah. Put some boots wasn't twenty twenty three, right? No, that was December. Okay, yeah, yeah. The nose too. Um, I will give a little bit of leeway for international films. Some of them like. Technically premiered in Japan in December, but didn't come here until then. Actually, you know what? I'm taking that back. Since you picked that, that's fine. I'll take what's Intergalactic 2023. Uh, I think that, that was the year before. Yeah. I did actually kind of like that. Uh, kind of. <laughs> Those people are adults. Yeah, like, I, okay. yeah, I'm like, <laughs> cool art style, but at some point I like, the, like yeah. is this going somewhere? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, then I realized, oh, it's Kid Cudi. <laughs> figure. Yeah. Boring figure. Very, very Kid Cudi. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I liked it a little bit. It, was, it, was me. it kept me in mind. So, you know, I respect that. <laughs> Fuck you, Disney. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I do think this was kind of the worst year for Disney in a way, it unfortunately. Because I, I, if I were to do a top three, it would probably up a, a top five. That yeah. was probably where Disney would fall, their highest movie. And they absolutely deserved it. Uh, well, it's just like 
Spider Verse a lot, and I like TMT a lot, and T- that's just oh, fuck. I forgot about TMT. No, I, that, 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 too, late. <laughs> God, yeah, too late. You've already backstepped no, no, no. once. <laughs> I know. No, no, what I would no Into the Spider Verse is still number one, but I will put TMT as number two. Yeah, yeah. which doesn't mean anything because if you ain't first, you last. So I have yet to see it. Is it on streaming platforms? Pe- uh, a Peacock. Peacock. No, no, no. Uh, Paramount Plus. Oh, sorry. TMT. TMT? TMT? Yeah. yeah. Damn, I ain't got Planet Rock Plus. I am never going to see that film. <laughs> You're like, what, what streaming away. service is that on? It's on Peacock, nigga. I ain't going to see that either. Well, that's a, well, out of luck then. Yeah, no, uh, Serenity, if it's a musical, I'm definitely not seeing it. Oh, you're not going to see Mean Girls? No, he's not going to see well, Leo. Leo has a couple of musicals. I've seen the Joker 2 of Mean Girls. Right, right, right. Huh? You're not going to see Joker 2? Joker 2? Oh, hell no. <laughs> what? Hell no. You don't like Lady Gaga? She's fine. She's you don't fine. like Walking Phoenix? <laughs> Not after the poem. <laughs> Martin, what is your number one animated movie? Well, I know the the answer I'm supposed to give is Into the Spider Verse, and it certainly is the most creative. Uh, uh, but I, I won't give that answer. Okay. Not, not, not because it's been said. I respect mm-hmm. that. But because I didn't like it as much as the first one. Okay. I, I was fair. I was kind of feeling some disappointment. Matter of fact, no, that's fair. Matter of fact, so that. much of when it started, I was sitting there going like. Yeah, this feels kind of gen- not so much generic, but the way it's like Gwen Stacy's uh, story. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, this is all very pat and generic. I feel We've like I'm watching a TV movie. Yeah, the way mm. they're just breezing through it. It wasn't until they got to India that I thought it kind of okay. Picked up. Fair. It was Hobie yeah. for me. And then yeah. once you got to the actual Spider Verse with all the Spider People, I was like. Okay, here's what the movie is about. Yeah. But it, it's already been like an hour. Right. Already. Right. <laughs> right. This like, is clearly like, a like, setup for a third that's yeah, supposed to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and to end on that cliffhanger, which I'm the dummy who didn't know it was going to do that. I didn't that. know that. I didn't that's know it was going to do that either. No, that was, like the, the, that was my... Know? And it made me think back. It's like, man, if y'all had cut all the bullshit in the first, the first one, <laughs> yeah, we could have got to the end of the story in one movie. <laughs> I keep thinking every time I see, every time I see Miles Morales with them cornrows, I'm like, did Riley from the Boondocks grow up? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It was jarring, right? It was just, like, <laughs> just a hairstyle. It was really fucking jarring. Yeah, I'm like, wait, you, what you, the fuck is that? He got that hair that look. I was just like, whoa. Like, hey, man. Okay. Yeah, you spent to go, y'all niggas is gay. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that yeah, point. Right? Part of the Roman <laughs> right. <40s>? <laughs> right. <laughs> we got a crit Miles Morales. Cool. Okay. That shit was wild for me. But yeah, no, I agree. I, I think the first uh, Spider Verse. Better. Yeah, I do agree with that. Oh, okay. oh you okay. mean the one that's that. a whole movie all the way through? Yeah, actually, the middle of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one is. You Not the advertisement for a third that, movie yeah. that may or no, may not happen. No, we had to fight the internet because Sam cut that into a clip where I was just kind of like, the ending took a point off. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's all he edited. <laughs> and then after that, the every Everyone on the internet was laughing. They jumped on him like a son of a bitch. That's crazy. Oh, well, time has passed now. We can, right. we Me and TJ were smart. We yeah. were like, Spider-Man's great. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right off the bat. We give it an A. <laughs> and that, you know, you got you know, you to start off that this way. This one here. Well, yeah. <laughs> we got all our critiques out, but we established. <laughs> you know? Yes. So that makes TMNT. Uh, Mutant Mayhem, my my favorite I like that. A- that's, animated movie. Of the that year. was awesome. And probably, like, that you know, movie's great. It, it, you know, it, and like I said, Spider Verse might, you know, technically on so many levels, be the better movie. But this is the one you didn't see coming. Absolutely. Oh, big time! Yeah. I thought it was going to be not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've not been crazy about anything. So, I mean, I I didn't grow up a Turtles fan. Yeah. Same. And so much of what I've seen has been like, yeah, okay. I that's guess. what I'm saying. It, it, your your initial reaction was predicated on the history of the. Yes. You, yes. The, the, the turtles, but this movie came out of the field and was actually really good. I was like, okay, that's I can understand that 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 logic. Yeah, and like the Spider Verse movies, it took like actual art. Yeah, and, and yes. you know, but did some creative with. It. Yeah, yeah, and it looked like drawings that a teenager would do. Mm-hmm. And for the first time, the turtles were teenagers. Actual teenagers. <laughs> and I was actual, like, and that that's the part that threw me off, and that's why I didn't see it in theaters. Uh huh. <laughs> because no, because they did the preview and they had, y'all heard their voices, and I'm like, oh, they're like these kids. are not grown ass. Like, and then like. Like, I'm like, well, they're teenagers, and they do sound like teenagers. Right, right. right. It, it, it just—it was a whole cluster fuck, and I finally <laughs> saw it when it like came out on uh, Paramount Plus. Was the first time I saw it. And I'm like, fuck, I wish I would have seen. Yeah, this. yeah. They don't sound like grown ass men paying rent. <laughs> yeah, like the Michael Bay version. <laughs> this motherfucker's so, on steroids. Wait, wait, wait. It's <laughs> on. It's steroids. only on Paramount. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I will say, creatively, <laughs> creatively, it's 
a something the turtles haven't done yeah. I, in a movie that I'm yeah. not aware of, where it's just like they're not fighting Shredder this movie at no, all. Right. Um, also, it's the most bro movie I've seen in a long, long time. It is. It's a teenage comedy Honestly, without everything that I've seen most, overdone about it. It's right. the most Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing I've seen. Honest yeah. to God. It's like the cartoon back in the day. Mm. To me, that was the closest thing they got to that feeling. It was something completely different. And that's why like, I, I thought that movie was so great. I'm like, okay, you captured what we love about these characters and all this, and you revamped it. You put more life into it. My only thing was, like, it's so oversaturated. Like, they've done so many things with that franchise. It's like, I knew a lot of people wouldn't see it just because, like, you just came out with a movie, like, a few years <laughs> I think ago. that's what makes, like, it's to this point, it made it surprisingly good. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. same. That's why yeah, I wasn't yeah. expecting shit from this. And, I, yeah. I like, also, this is the best thing you've done with this franchise. I also did notice, because this is a, a Seth Rogen joint, like at the beginning, like the music is very 1980s yeah. and like... Uh, Can we kick it? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Beastie Boys and stuff like that. And then at a certain point, they're making uh, references to K-pop and yeah. anime. And I'm like, oh, at some point they were like, no, bro, teenagers have... Develop, have changed a lot. Yeah, like yeah. Old music. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it really is like a playlist of a teenager. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on to our next category, and this, like I said, this is closer to MTV Movie Awards than it, it is. is to the Oscars. Your favorite kill of last year? Kill. Kill. Like, hmm. so in a movie that had John Wick, Mission Impossible, Fast X, there's a lot of, like, generic kills you can pick from in a way. Mine is actually from Sisu, because at the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it came out yeah. last year? So yeah. Sisu came out uh, late 2022, but because it was a foreign film, it didn't it get didn't released until 2023. Yeah. And they, there's a big bad, and it's been developing in that way, and they're fighting in, in an airplane at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah. And then he just, there's a bomb there, they're <laughs> fighting, it's like, you know where this is going. It, it doesn't exact. it does everything about, like, if it shows you a gun, they're gonna use a gun kind of thing. So he clips the bomb to him, and then hits the brake release at the end of the fight, and you just get to see him, like, struggle for a little bit, but it was a very good earned moment. Um, that being said, like, if you just want to say a horror movie had your favorite kill, you can do that as well. Yeah. But there is a favorite... Just as a couple categories up, there is your favorite horror movie of last year as well. Favorite Jordan. Kill. Jeez. It's <laughs> a real specific one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Can it be favorite kill Godzilla? Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's when he went to that whole entire city and just blew that whole shit up. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just like doomsday. It was just like sad. And really depressing, but yeah, that would be my best kill. See, I thought for a little bit when you brought up Godzilla, it was going to be the dude that he killed with his tail. Like, you're not getting away. Yeah, that was my Godzilla best part. In that movie, was such an ass. He was a <laughs> big asshole. He's no hero in that one. Yeah, not at all. The American version, he's a fucking hero. I was like, no, no. Godzilla's never been a hero. American, he's a fucking he was, asshole. He was what almost he is. sadistic. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. He's like, 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 like a sadistic gonna, force of nature. Well, he he was like, literally torturing his wife in the train. Yeah. Man, like, he was an asshole. Yeah, no. Normally, you know, you watch a Godzilla movies, especially these new ones, like, like especially the first one of these new ones. I always talk about how it's a Godzilla movie that he barely shows up. Yeah. In. Oh. Godzilla might. Oh. Well, he's there all the time. Well, yeah. Plus, whenever he shows up, I'm like, oh man, why are you here? No, yeah. that's the thing. Like, no, Godzilla minus one focuses on the character, like mm. the human characters more so than I've seen any Godzilla. Oh yeah. Which makes on. it a bad. But at the same friend. goddamn time, it's like, no, this motherfucker <laughs> prop. Like when he <laughs> shows up, it's it's gonna yeah. be a thing. Yeah. Like it's not a little thing. I, I think <laughs> that's what, huge. I think that's the reason why I like the film so much is because there's a balance of human element, but there's like, in the background, we have, we tend to forget. There's a fucking giant He's a force of nature, nature right? Yeah. He's not a it's, hero. It's just a, a good balance of, of human. I like the, the exploration of the human aspect of it, the yeah, aftermath for sure. of it, and you know them growing and trying to rebuild. But every time they do it, you got this motherfucker coming out of nowhere and blowing shit up. So that's the reason why I love Godzilla minus one. It was oh, a great film. Oh, absolutely, was absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I saw it late. Like everybody yeah. had seen it. I saw it late yeah. too. And, and Same it was, here, yeah. it was, and it was it like one of those movies that was so hyped up and it lived up to it everything. lived up to that. You know, hoy, you you want to know what film that didn't live up to the hype that I was really disappointed with? Uh, the Boy and the Heron. Oh yeah. yeah, that was disappointing. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Because yeah. I mean, it's, it's it, it was it was great to have Miyazaki back. Yeah, 
it wasn't one it wasn't worth movies. it yeah it, it, everybody was quick to go like it's a masterpiece like, like, no it's not, it's not man. It's, who's who's saying these masterpieces again <laughs> <laughs> to me it's, it's kind of similar the way they like kind of praise killers of the flower moon and like we'll, we'll, we'll get to that okay I'm about <laughs> to say, it's like, Ta- there's a lot of categories okay. that can lean not best kill yeah because all the kills and killers of the flower moon are actually not no <laughs> no uh, we shouldn't laugh all right go so on mine oh. Is uh, it's gonna? It's a little different. So this kill, I love this scene. It's okay. not so much the kill. The kill's pretty typical. It's just a person getting shot. <laughs> but like the le- no, the whole scene leading up to it to me is one of the best scenes I've seen in a movie. And that's mm-hmm. I cl- uh, they clone Tyrone. Oh, okay. Oh, I he, forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, when he. Oh, well, spoiler. When Ty- don't the you cannot the character I will I will say right now beginning. you can't just go into spoilers. No spoilers all this no you go into spoilers oh, okay. all these movies have been out for a they year and if you're watching you. the best award show of 2023 you, you would have already seen them. yeah yeah so yeah no the uh it's not it's Tyrone you find out at the end but I forgot the actual character's name that we follow but he gets sh- like it's a scene where he's in a hotel parking lot and it's this long kind of long drawn out like you only focus on him but you know it's a problem and it's just him like I might die. <laughs> like, I might, you know, this shit is bad, and I might not make it through this. Mm. And he just, you see a point of him just like, fuck it, and he gets out, gets shot up, and he's done. And, but it's the linchpin of the movie. Like, that's the thing that kicks it off, and he wakes up, and he's fine, and he's mm-hmm. like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> but that, man, I love that fucking scene. I love the cinematography with the purple hue coming in. I just, I fucking love that scene so Damn. much. I gotta so that's re- my number one right there. I got to rewatch that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what it is I'm, about. I'm Tyrone. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, there, that um, is an aspect of what this movie has so, this year has so many different movie flavors in yeah, a way. it does. Where it's, it's just really kind good. of like, if you're honest about this award show, because there, there's a lot of people that grandstand and it's like, oh, we got to love this movie because everyone else is the Oscar type thing. Yeah. But it's just like, be honest with you. If you think Team NT was your, the best movie this Man, year, I'm about entertainment, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about your, your your fucking prestige that you're trying to get, your pretentiousness. Fuck yeah. all of it. I just want to be entertained, and I want a good, consistent movie that's well written, great cinematography, great direction, great acting. Give me that, and I'm sold. Well, like he's not on this award show, but one of the things that TJ loved a lot was the creator. Do I think the creator is a good movie? No, but no, it's but beautiful. It, <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous looking movie. Exactly. And they did so much with so little money. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah and I res- that, that's the end of my praise. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. That's it. Like, that bad, huh? It's, uh, it's man, not. It's, it's one of those movies you like, you could have done so much with this and you just did I mean, one, your lead is John David Washington. So you're not already, sold. You're already starting wait, with wait, a lead. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we, okay. I'm we're glad you brought this. that up. We're getting into this. So we're agreeing that John David, or yeah, David John Washington. Is John not a good actor. No, Whatever it is, he's no, not a good actor. No, no, no. He, thank you. He's, he's, he, he is the definition of a nepo baby. <laughs> yes, he is the nepo. Yes, yeah. he is you know, the face yes. of nepo baby. You, like no, because no, like people talk about like Maya Hawk, and I'm like, no, Maya Hawk is actually fun yeah, to watch. Yeah, she's yeah. Cool. But because uh, I, John David Washington is that. John David Washington. People like Colin first, Hanks. I'm like, no, Colin Hanks is actually good. Yeah. And plus, okay. John David Washington yeah. is not. And <laughs> Col- Colin Hanks started in small roles. Yeah, and, and he got better. And John David Washington, you never heard of him, and suddenly he's in. He's the lead. Lead and big movies. He's the lead, and Martin. Not in a Christopher good. Nolan movie. Yes, he's the that, lead. That's what I was gonna say. Dude, the first time I actually realized that he wasn't a good actor was, was Tenet. Tenet. Yeah. Oh, I, Be- I I knew in Black Klansman. I was like, what? Yeah, I thought happening? he was no. He, no, no, no. I'm with a, him because when they go, no, like, you know what? In Black Klansman, I like to me throughout Black Klansman, I was like, is he a good actor? Yeah. That was my whole. And I saw Topher for Grace pop up. I'm like, no, he's not, because yeah. Topher Grace killed him. His, the little bit, he was there. Everybody was acting circles around him. Everyone. Yeah. And, and especially, Literally everyone. especially in Tenet, Robert yes. Pattinson was right. holding him back to not steal right. the from who, him. Yeah, right. he, you could tell he was. Thank yeah. you. Like, actors who were in scene, who were only in that movie for a small mm-hmm. fra- Harry Belafonte outacted him, <laughs> yeah. and he didn't give a fuck. He was just, oh, he was just there. It's like, but bro, I think the reason man, why I hate I, that I, shit. I didn't really... I didn't really get that vibe from Black Klansman because I thought that the story was so good. The story was? No, the movie is great. It it really just didn't highlight specifically on him. It it, it felt like I wasn't really watching him specifically. No, you're watching the story. I was watching the story. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why I didn't think that think that specifically for the Black Klansman. But when I watched Ten, and I was like, "This nigga's garbage." Yeah, Not well, uh, he's like Michael B. Jordan, but with emotion. <laughs> there, there, there's that point in Black Klansman where you're like, "Okay, but can you do your white voice?" Okay. Yeah. I was like, "It's the same voice, right?" He, he didn't change anything. Voice. He do rags. What do you think about do rags? 
and uh, scenes with him just doing. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is this? Now I blame a lot of that on Spike Lee because he he just kind of goes off. And he uh, and, Spike, and, and like, do like, Spike Lee is one of those so, directors that needs to be pulled in. He needs. Sometime. I mean, he he's at this point where nobody's gonna do it, but somebody needs to say like, Spike, this movie doesn't have to be about every issue, right? <laughs> like, like yeah, like pick one, pick maybe like two. two, yeah. Too but, much. But Point. He's Did like, you, no, no. But what about this? What yeah. And what about this? And what about this? Like, That's what Spike Point. is. Did you like what was the movie he the had on? Blood. The Five Bloods. Like Did you the like five that? Bloods. The, the, the Five, five Bloods, Bloods was great. the worst about that. And it's gonna be about <laughs> yeah, this, and we're gonna throw this, in some of this. 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 But again, this. This. it was a good start. Like the plot of the Five Bloods is a it's a yeah. clever plot. Was it? Because what was I the plot? Right. That's right. We're gonna go get our gold back. Like the five plots. Or the money back that we stole from Vietnam. Five plots. It did happen. No, like the main plot of what it should have been, rather. Yeah. Of these old vets, like we buried this shit we need to go back like that, sorry, that's I mean, kind of a good track. plot sorry, but no, like no, 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 this is made to go off track okay. yeah, yeah I'm yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. No, 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 I was just wondering because like, he said and I was just like thank you yeah, no, he's not a great actor yeah, no, I agree. at all I agree. Yeah. This, but, but, this, besides, this podcast is made for film hot takes like this kind of thing like it started off tentatively by being like Barbie not the best that's about it and then let, that alone Wash is a terrible it, actor. Yeah, yeah. It'll get worse as we go. It will. Well, <laughs> as far as creator goes, besides mm. him being the lead, mm. uh, the story it's it's just a, a pastiche of every sci-fi and yeah. anime you've seen before. Like, there's not an original thought in this entire movie. Really? But I always, I'm from that. But it looks my, beautiful. Yeah, it does look beautiful. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm of that good. mindset of like, because Quentin Tarantino does it, of like, take bits and pieces from this, 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 and this. He, but he can you, do that. So he can mesh them together better. Do it, who can but, do it but, in a good way. Yeah. There, there's but a good way to do it. This, not this one. is not one of those. Because you, you got to take it and somehow make it your own. Make it original and your own in some way. Yeah. I was about to say, like, I've seen enough Shudder movies at this point where I actually, really have. I, I have a newfound respect for Tarantino, <laughs> where I'm like, there's so many people that just take tropes, and it's yeah, just yeah. like, if I just do these tropey things, people will love it, because they love the tropes, right. and they they crash, like, ten of them in a movie, and I'm like, bro, someone, someone sort of, needs some, yeah, <laughs> someone needs a real this person. <laughs> Wait, no, I would say specifically that with Tarantino, he just knows how to mess good storylines together. Yeah, he, you know? he knows how to do it seamlessly. But I, when I watched the trailer to The Crate, I kept thinking, this feels like District 9. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of real it. blind camp. Yeah. Yeah, 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 But I just like I don't want to <laughs> change his name to more like David Don Oregon. <laughs> I'll take that. But yeah, he needs to drop Washington because he is not a good actor. John no, I, <laughs> something other than Washington. <laughs> and I hate saying that because I want to support my black actors, but that, that was it's all it is, man. Because yeah, yeah. we love Denzel. And I, I do like, too. But it's at the same time, I'm just thinking, your son is trash. <laughs> your son's <laughs> following. Sorry, man. Uh, he's he's got to make his own way. He's got to make his own way. Like you, like. <laughs> Like, look, he's like, and look, like, I, I want to be great. Wait, I want John David to be great. He says, "Speaking, of, you got to make his own way." I'm like, "Speaking of Bronny James, <laughs> he he making his Bronny own James way." James of Hollywood, he, he is really pretty is. much. Is Bronny not good? No, no, he's he garbage. Oh, really? Yes, he's terrible. He's terrible. We leave the kids out of it. He's garbage. He's not good. <laughs> and the thing is, look. Uh, and look, no. When it comes to black actors, especially ones who got that pass to get to lead a Christopher Nolan movie, we like want them to, to excel. John we David, want them. like you are in a position, hone your craft, brother. Like hone your craft the best you can. But then again, that just goes to show how 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 much Robin Pattinson's acting has grown no, since Robin Twilight. Is a good actor. He's a great actor. After the Lighthouse, actor. I'm like, no, nah, this dude's legit. I mean, he probably was always a good actor. Yeah, he probably always but was. But you know, in Twilight, Twilight what can fucked. you do? Kristen Stewart's Kristen a good Stewart's actor. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, just, the Twilight fucked everything up <laughs> for both of them. But yeah, they grew out of it and they, they played in good roles as well too. But yeah, I just, John David just, garbage. I'm glad you said that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. quick question. I'm sorry, Law. Have you seen Love Lies Bleeding yet? Oh, one no. with the, uh, Kristen Stewart and, uh, I forgot. It's, it's like another unknown actress, but mm. like I, I'm hearing really good things about. Yeah, it. yeah, no, yeah. No, no, okay. Oh, the, the body yeah, the body yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. see that. I want to yeah, see yeah. that too. I've heard really good shit about that one. Is it A24 or a yeah. Neon? A ne it's one of. The, I think it's. Oh fuck! I think it's Neon. Actually. Two great studios. Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, Martin, I know this is very specific, so you can pass if you need to. But what was your favorite kill of last Whoa, year? Oh, that's hard to think, but because <laughs> it's so specific, and I'm sorry, it, it, that, is, so, that... it is so specific, um, and I don't know that I have. A favorite kill, you know, I can have favorite scenes. Yeah. But I, I, I keep coming back to a movie that I saw in the theater and then I liked it a lot. And yeah. then I watched it on Netflix and really fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. And that was The Killer. Oh, oh. Yes. David Fincher. See, yeah, I, yeah. I, there's, a, there's a kill in The Killer that I was just kind of like, that's one of my favorite kills because 
you question the morality of it at the mm. moment that it happened, and then you were like, oh, no, she was trying to kill him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. No, the, 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 whole, the whole stalking, the sitting down in the restaurant, the conversation, <laughs> and just like the way it went on. That, that was a great conversation. Yeah. And yeah, how it ends. Was okay, like, I'm watching mm, that tonight. That was satisfying. <laughs> I mean, so, to me, it was like, this is... The best James Bond movie that nobody will know. Really, shit. it's good, man. It's, it's a really it's good movie. Solid. So, um, it's Swindon that he kills. Yeah, Sw- yeah. yeah. Tilda Swindon. It, yeah. yeah, and it's just this. It's this really neat scene that's built up. So, uh, he goes and he's like, "Oh, this is one of the killers trying to kill me." Um, and she's like, "Just sit down, have like br- charming British dinner with me for a little bit." It's a uh, nice uh, dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, that exquisite meal. Yeah, there's there's, 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 there's like eight desserts. The restaurant. Yeah, it looks extravagant. And he snifters and a, a flight of them. And she's like, "You want some?" He's like. <laughs> like, I ain't stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. And then there's like the specific kill in that moment where it's just kind of like there's icy steps because it's the UK or right. wherever it is. Oh, no, it's, uh, I, I thought it was New York. Or Chicago. Oh, is it New York? It might oh. be Chicago. Well, there's icy steps, yeah. and she's like, "Oh, I can't make it up." And then he just instinctively shoots her in the face, and then you're just kind of like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" Yeah. And, and then it's like, "Oh, she had a knife, and yeah. as soon as she grabbed him, she was." Yeah. She was wow. like, mm, nah. uh, Oh, I'm definitely watching this. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck that Lakers game that's coming. Right here. I am watching this tonight. So you know tonight. what kind of reminded me of, like, and this is kind of compared to a show, but it's a show with kills, kind of like that, of where it's like, what was the purpose? Like that just kind of came out of nowhere. Barry. To us, it's just like yeah, Barry was yeah. like that. Yeah, Barry oh, is Barry. hyper oh, yeah. violent. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it was. It's like this weird off kilter oh, yeah. type of yeah. kill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him well, killing his friend in that damn car when his friend man, that, that, that friend was gonna get it. That, oh. that whole time with that friend, I was like, dude, I shut, knew. Oh. Shut, oh. shut the fuck <laughs> up, oh, man. Don't, don't because he this. doesn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna make him do it. Yeah, and you, man, you to me, that was the point where that show turned. When I was like, fuck, okay, that's the Walter White. That was the one. was the one. And I was like, I was cringing so bad when that happened. Now, yeah. I mean, that point where he kills Henry Winkler's girlfriend, and then he wakes up the next morning like, "Okay, today I'm gonna be good." Yeah, now I'm like, gonna be good. I'm like, nah, man. nah. I see where this story's going. <laughs> but it got so much darker. Than it, I expect. that show is dark as fuck. Well, it only man. lasts for three seasons, four, right? Yeah, four seasons. Yeah, four, yeah. Seasons. four seasons. Yeah, yeah. It's and, a hey, no, it's a beginning, middle, end. Like man, it's, it's a whole, it's an end. <laughs> it's an end. That's for true. Sure. That's true. Yeah. Uh, a show I would I would recommend to you if you haven't heard of it <laughs> is Mister In Between. Yes. Oh, uh, with a uh, it's Australian. Australian show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It was on FX. Yes. And it, it was like I like, remember that one. Yeah, I used to say like it's not breaking bad and it's not Barry, but it's it's kind of in between. It's, like, and, yeah. and it would show two episodes at a time and one it just might 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 be doing anything. Yeah. And then the next one Boom. Is, yeah. That's what, no, I heard good <laughs> shit about that show. It's one of those one of those FX man, it's FX shows that have just gone into the I ether. know. Man versus Man Seeking Woman. Gone. Oh, that's and right. That's one that's of the right. best show? fucking shows they ever had. A uh, Man Seeking Woman. That's oh, yeah. um, um, Jay Baron Shell, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so um, Andre, yeah. I pulled this because I, I figured like it would be really hard for us to have four different people, <laughs> but it was just like, hey, uh, the Oscars does this once in a while. It's like, hey, guys, you you didn't do anything this year that actually is Oscar worthy. Yeah. But here's like a lifetime achievement award <laughs> yeah. kind of thing, and I kind of thought Jake deserved one. For his history of comedy movies, oh, and yeah. and then the way that he put in a dramatic performance in Blackberry, Blackberry yeah. and I was just kind of like, this no, dude you know really funny? can do everything, and Bob, he's never gonna. He gets like never, a man. he gets like so a movie every sad. other year. Because me and my girl, she she watched Man Seeking Woman with yeah. me again, and she's like, because I remember him from. Uh, she was like, I remember him from the How to Train Your Dragon. Like that's the only yeah. thing, and she's like, he's really good. He's a really good actor. I'm like, yeah, he really is, and that's a shame. And like, that's why I recommended Blackberry to it too. And like, it's a shame, man. Some actors you got John David Washington taking it. Like, <laughs> some good ass actors out there that just won't ever get a shot. Like, I'm you writing know? down all these shows. Okay, which one again? <laughs> that's the point of this podcast. At the end of this, you're gonna so leave with a whole bunch of movies. Was talking about this yeah. uh, okay. the actor. What? Oh, Jake Barron. Jake show. Jake Jake Barron show. Yeah. He was in uh, Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Oh, Nerdy guy in Tropic Thunder. Yeah. He's, the, Tropic he's the Thunder, lead yeah. in How to Train Your Dragon. You've not seen Tropic Thunder? I've seen Tropic Thunder, okay. but I don't remember uh, that. He's I not can. the most memorable. Yeah, He'll he be was, like the, what is he's he's the one like? you would remember the least. He's on the glasses. The, yeah, always, the, it was like one. the nerdy one. Though. The fat guy? Uh-uh. No, no, no. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what he ain't making, man. I don't know. Maybe he's not as great as you guys say. <laughs> Jay, Jay what? What is this? Bear Show. B-A-R. He was in the... 
the yeah. uh, the the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah. This guy? That is a weird movie. To, to, <laughs> that's an awful movie. <laughs> this guy? The guy? Oh, yeah. I Jay, know what that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on screen. He, he talks like this. He's on what? Jay Burr's yeah, show. It's that, yeah, he does. Like, his voice is so distinctive. It's like, oh, I can't take Oh, he's in This Is The End. That should have been the, the, the end. end. Yeah, that's another one. Like, you, he's in a lot of shit, and it's just like, he's the most well, overlooked actor in all of those movies. Okay. Put Blackberry Well, now. on to our next award. Oh, that's already easy. Uh, so the next award yeah. is your favorite horror moment because I feel like horror it's a little moment, moment. like horror a scene. Horror you haven't seen Talk to Me, man. I did not. <laughs> that, I man, wanted to. I did. Last not when uh, twenty twenty two was a year for horror movies. Absolutely, that was, oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That was the fucking year. I'm not yeah. even a horror fan. I was like, Dude. wow, so many of these are my favorite. It, it was Barbarian, so many Barbarian was up. always my number one. Yeah, well, yeah. Barbarian. Yeah, yeah, Barbarian. Because that took me off. Barbarian was crazy. I love Barbarian and Smile. And smile, smile was, was smile a surprising was one because it looked really fucking surprising. corny, but it actually was it pretty good. Yeah. I don't well, know well, about well, two. Actually, I do have mine because I had a horror <laughs> movie that I loved, and it will not be popular, but I loved it. Well, oh, no, that's why I went with horror <laughs> moment <laughs> yeah. because I feel like most horror movies are you get a rare A once in a while, you do. but. Bees sometimes have these moments where I'm like, I love that scene a lot, and I felt really like gris, like grabbed for a little bit. And even though that movie is an A, it didn't have a scene like that horror, favorite horror movement. Mm -hmm. So you you can go both ways. I do know that this year not as good as last year for sure. No, hell, no. Nice but, one. Uh, this I, year still had uh, the Evil Dead remake that some people that loved. That shit was great. I Evil Dead, really? Evil Dead, Rock? really? Yeah. You yeah. really you didn't like it? No, I didn't see it. Oh, it's man. Like, no, no, like, no I've, I've, okay. I've, I've heard mixed things. It's one that I think. <laughs> so I knew someone. That's why who, he hasn't seen it. Because when you hear mixed things, that's the worst thing someone, you can hear. Yeah, yeah, a true. buddy of mine, he's a big Evil Dead fan just in general. And he saw it. And he's like, the first time I saw it, I was like, eh. Second time I saw it, I was like, oh, no, this is this Okay, is good. all right. Yeah, sure. this is actually. I still like, give it a like, B. How, it's a B. How, how I take advice on B+, it yeah. is going to be, how did you feel about the last Evil Dead movie? I actually enjoyed that, surprisingly. I, I gave it actually a, a, like a C minus. It. It's it forgettable. It's so forgettable to yeah. me. I don't remember much about it, honest mm -hmm. to God. I do not remember no, much honey, about you, it. Dang, I can't listen to none of y'all. I remember... <laughs> I remember you one character like with glasses. I hated it. Yo, no, I, just, I, I, didn't like, I, I don't remember I, I it. So that should tell you everything. Like, I don't fair. remember that. There, you, there, you'll remember this one. There are great scenes in it, but overall, it was like, eh. No, but I, I think that's the reason why I was like, okay, it's a borderline C, uh -huh. C minus, because there were great scenes oh, in yeah, it. C minus, okay. Well, I remember so. the Bruce Campbell thing at the very end. That's I didn't like that. I didn't care about that. Yeah, that's all I remember about that. I was so done with it. This one, I thought, it was just like, I don't know. It got me. It, it's a thing that it catches you, and you don't know how or why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like, okay, you got me. I will say, and it I've, doesn't let you go. Like it, it sticks with you. I've it's mostly like, heard right, good things about it. Yeah. I, um, I, I have partly, I partly haven't watched it because my my daughter's boyfriend is excited to, for me to watch that with him. So mm -hmm. I've been uh, putting it on. Okay, yeah. Cool. Watch it with him. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah I don't yeah, think you'll yeah, be yeah, disappointed yeah, in yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I, I can't even think of any horror movies from that. Well, talk to, me, I got talk, to me. talk to Me came out. Um, oh, fuck. And then I got a lot of weird... Okay, so yeah. I'll, I guess I'll start it off. We'll see if the conversation develops into a way. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like this horror movie for the most part. Uh, horror movies... And this is a weird comparison to make, but I was making this comparison to Tommy on Tuesday. They're very much like uh, fantasy movies in a way where no one tells the director to stop. Mm, like, yeah. so when someone sells Tim Burton, like, hey, you're you're losing the the thread here of what your story is. He's like, shut up, I'm being yeah. cool. <laughs> and that happens a lot with horror movies as well. Like it, because the comparison I made to Tommy was like, Rob Zombie was like, you made a movie about Ugh. witches, but they're in an insane yeah. asylum, yeah. For, and it's just like I just thought it looked cool, That's and it. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no logic, no or, logic. No, it didn't you had add an to idea the plot. For the scene, and yeah. you built the movie. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> what you did, yeah. Um, so Bo is Afraid is literally a series oh of God. like, that was a crazy ass film. Yeah. <laughs> this whole movie. I know people who that's their favorite movie of the year. But I, is, really? Really? Yes. I, they are I not good so they, friends. So wait, they, they wait, so, so they like, they like the dick in the attic? <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Wow. And hold on. They love it. Sure. And I'm just, no, cause they, th to me, they thought it was more, I do not like Bo is Afraid to be, you know, yeah, yeah, put yeah, that yeah, out yeah. there. To them, it was. Ari Asa fooled them. 
honest to God, it's like I it's Ari they, Aster. They, I think it's brilliant. What he did was brilliant. Like, this, I'm like I think how or why so though? I think <laughs> Ari Aster was shit. brilliant in his last two movies. I do too. I, I'm even on the fringe I of like I think Hereditary is a I good love movie. Even, yeah, but this last movie, I'm like, this is where the range should have come in. I to think, me, it was pretentious. It, it, it was yeah, very pretentious. I, I, I don't like that word pretentious because it often means well you I don't I, I, I want to criticize you but I don't have the right words yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes yes however a little in, bit however in this case no my, my definition of that is you thought you were smarter than what you actually were yes yeah yes yes uh I, I you know watching it yeah it, there's there's some brilliant directing going on and some scenes as we were talking about this Corey and I talked about this the other day uh how yeah, in, in in different scenes, but as a whole, it does not. No, it work. doesn't gel at all. And and there's always that hope that like, well, man, when it gets to the end, it it's could bring it end. all together. Yeah. yeah, and it does Just the not, opposite. Not of even that. close. Yeah. yeah, not even close. And you go, and so then that makes you stop and go, well, okay, so what was this shit over here? Yeah, and why was that? And none of this really connects. And like, okay, yes, the guy is, is it has crippling anxiety, and this is all in his head. But did I really need three hours for that? That's it, the other fucking problem yes, with this movie. Yes, man. It, that part is what got me. Well, it also... Because I didn't realize how long it was. It made me think of, like, oh, there's all these young directors who have vision and want to get something done, and they aren't being given the money or the resources. Yeah. And here he is <laughs> taking this up for, for, <laughs> for this three-hour slog that... Uh, nothing. Pe- people are not going to go see so this three-hour art- artsy slog that is just like, like the scene alone in the street where he uh, well, he's, has yeah, to, he's, where he has to cross the street. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you had to shut down a street. You probably took 20 takes to do this yeah. and hired 30 extras. I'm like, god damn, dude. Like, uh, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, so, so the next time somebody comes up and is like, hey, I got this thing I want to make. It's like, well, well, we gambled on one of these before. So, <laughs> look, you, you you get 10 million. Do the best you can. Yeah, exactly. But the crazy part. Is like who is this? Uh, has plaza? Yeah, yeah. Like he said, the, I didn't understand the attic scene. Like, what is the whole purpose yeah. of telling his dad was a penis? And that was know. like that didn't make sense None to me. Is, None of that. Like, well, so if you want to get into the artsy farsi thing of it, it's all about like uh, Bo's afraid, his anxiety, and he's being emasculated the entire movie. And that's okay to make a movie about that. The problem is that this movie takes so many weird fucking turns, and I'm just kind of like, you don't want to drift into the, the lost it's, it's, it, <laughs> Well, it's very no, tentative. Just like, what it's, are we doing here? It's very tentative. The flow yeah. that connects these movies for three hours, yes, for three fucking hours. But it's the, it's like, oh, we're gonna have a play about his life that he could have had if he wasn't afraid yeah. uh, his two sons that don't metaphorically exist the, he stays with Timon for an hour and a half yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that whole thing with, with Nathan Lane's yeah. family like yeah. when it was all said and done you're like that could be cut out of this movie what was it the, affects the story to me Not throughout that whole it. movie I kept coming back to what was the point of that uh-huh. like and it just I don't like that man I don't like to. I know pretend I hate using the word but it's like <laughs> Motherfucker, you thought you were smarter than you yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. This is for you. This is this not is for, for you. Other it's not people, for us, man. Yeah. Like, and I like when artists get into that mode, you need to dial it back. <laughs> like, and people, the fact people think this movie is great. It's, it's his gonna, third movie, bro. He's not third movie. like I understand Miyazaki made this with his twentieth film. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, like, oh, this is me being up my and that, ass. Look, if this, this was his twentieth film, we'd be like, film. all right, yeah, yeah. Hell, fucking Francis Ford Coppola made what Twister, tw- uh, some weird, uh, weird ass movie, and people are just like, it's not good, but it's Francis Ford Coppola, whatever. And that's it. And but with him, it's like, dude, this is your third movie. You're still <laughs> trying to work yourself up. Like yeah. this should have been honest to God, a third horror movie. If Jordan Peele is going through the through the, the the stages he's going through, you are not better than him. So you need to probably try to go. You're probably on par, but you need to you need to be there. You need to give uh, us that, more. And that being said, more of your Peele's horror. What third horror movie, movie was This Is Us and no, that? No, 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 it was the third. This Is Us is a TV show. No, uh, us, us, uh, us, us, us was damn, second, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I still, like it was like I hate that movie. I'm not a big fan of us. I like Nope. So it's like you bring, uh, but then, yeah, I'm, I'm, I like I'm, it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's I like better it. than us. <laughs> is, is it though? No, I right, think right. so. Right. No, I mean, so no, I mean, I, not by I, much, but I, I, I mean, I feel like like Nope kind of falls apart at the end. Yeah, like, it's one of those things. It does. Like, yeah. like it once you explain does. it, you go wait. But man. that's all his movies. All his movies are. If this doesn't make sense, like. Get Us makes no sense. sense. Get Out really doesn't make much sense. <laughs> it does. Get Out no, actually would have made more sense if it, it kept the original me, ending. In, that in, that to me, it's depressing. I would have hated it. What was the original ending? He goes to jail. 
for the murder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, no. but, but I will say, so <laughs> Nope yeah. would have been my favorite horror movie of last year. Moment. My yeah. favorite horror mm. moment. Uh-huh. Because it was really, if you it, it was you had to take a step back and think about it. Everybody was yelling and they all stop at once because yeah. they all hit that part of the digestive track of the creature. And I was just kind of like, that's that very cute. Uh, yeah. The whole, the, the, that whole scene out, where yeah. the lady's going up the two and she's screaming when she, it. and you yeah. can see it, it just, just freak me the yeah, fuck that out. Me out too. No, I'll tell you what. That's no, why. No, no. If we're talking about that scene there, not my favorite, not my favorite killing scene, but horror scene. But that, the one with the monkey, that, that, that just, just was just so crazy. How that whole action happened with the fucking balloon? That was fucking crazy. And then, crazy. And then yeah. the fucking monkey fist pumped. To me, get the fuck out that's of why. Here. That's why Nope gets a redemption because it's so many moments in Nope that like, like as but a whole, overall, not you, really, you had better horror movies last year. Unfortunately. Absolutely, but like, no, like as a like but no, just but the some fist of those pump. moments, like uh, like the monkey thing freaked me. The, like the monkey freaked me out. <laughs> wait, 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 the, wait, wait, wait. He's like yeah. the white girl saw waking up. He said, like, "When the white girl saw waking up, he's like, oh, you about to wake up? Oh, fuck, fuck this no. shit.'" And then when. <laughs> It's like years later. Yeah. yeah that shit freaks me out. She looked like Jane you know, Goodall. Like, you didn't need, look, you didn't fully do it, Jordan Peele, but you you did enough to for this to like hit some some note. <laughs> Jeez Louise. But yeah, yeah. No, so I'll go with my my horse. Well, I, I haven't given mine. Uh-huh. Are we going in order here, sir? Um, <laughs> so I didn't like Bo is Afraid yeah. for the most part. Oh, yeah, that's where we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I did like the moment or the, 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 the scary moment because you knew where it was going. Yeah. But I was just kind of like, no, don't do, don't, don't, don't. And he's very good at making you uncomfortable. That's uh, the best thing that's that he, he does. does. Yeah. And it's when uh, the teenage daughter in Nathan Lane's house drinks the paint. <laughs> yeah. Out of all the horror, I don't know. I'm a weird person when it comes to horror. Like my favorite horror movie would probably be um, what's the movie with all the drugs from the '90s? Uh, that had my favorite horror Requiem scene. For uh, Requiem for a no, Dream. That is a oh, straight yeah. up horror movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it was it's, it? it's it's the moment it's the moment I'm where um, I mean I don't, <laughs> it's the ahead. mom doing the the weight loss drugs. Oh, that yeah. was yeah, my yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my favorite that horror one, moments yeah. in a way. Okay, yeah. And that's kind of what this felt like. Yeah, it's it just like it kind of it, yeah. you. It's building up to it, right. and it's just like don't do it. But then like the helplessness when her eyes are all bloodshot, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the mom's like, "What did you do? What did you do?" And she's like, I, "He's like, I didn't. What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was a go. No, yeah. no, that was quality. Like, like I said, man, that movie's not great, but like, I mean, it's parts because Ari Aster is good. Yeah. So like, it's, it's I, I'm pretty part, sure he yeah. can hit the. Hit the Good. hit the hit a home run Absolutely. in a three hour movie. Reel him in, <laughs> yeah. Like they let him loose, and he, uh, he's not an artist. You can just let. Loose no, no, like he definitely that, needs man. to be reined in. To I will not watch in. a three hour movie of his no. again. No, nah, I'm not doing that. You yeah. haven't earned that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't feel like he earned a three hour no, movie now. Hasn't. Actually, well, no, I don't. I agree. I don't think he has. Um, Jordan. Uh, favorite horror movie. So it's no horror moment. Horror horror moment. Sorry. Speaking to a horror guy here, uh, one of my favorite films last year was uh, Scream when- Six came out. Last That's year. mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is mine. So uh, there's a movie called When Evil Lurks. It's a Spanish film. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And this is all the film that really you are a good movie when you make me upset about your choices, and it's a fictional film. Yeah. Right. So there's a scene where. The mother's possessed with the demon and she kidnaps the kid in the middle of the night and the brother's driving the car and he sees the mother who's possessed with the kid and as he's pulling up, she's literally eating the kid's head like a popcorn and I was just like, this really fucked me up because I'm thinking (laughs) that this kid's going to be alive but I didn't know it was going to go that far but I could have... That was the best part but... The one of the even crazier parts is the dog eating the kid's head like right there and just snatches her underneath the table and just fuck this kid up. So it, this kid, this movie actually fucks kids up, which I'm happy about because I think kids in horror movies are really bad. <laughs> but just that scene where he pulls up and the mother's like lead, eating the kid, like the kids inside of his head like like popcorn. Jesus. That was the best horror moment I haven't to me. Seen that movie, but you just made you sold me. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. So, you yeah, know, like my favorite <laughs> horror movie of last year, and I know it's it may be contra- it was Scream 6. I don't know why. Because so, I love, like, that movie. I, Scream, a ri- Scream. I will say that I had friends that saw Scream 6, yeah. like, 
for some reason, they just went in blind, yeah. and they were like, oh, I want to see the other five now. Dude, like, it's something about that one. They don't give a fuck. It's dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb as okay, shit. Okay. What's the, what's, what's, oh, what's all right, the best right. horror, movie, horror moment in the movie? The think? comedian store. Because to me, the shotgun, yeah. Because okay, because that's in the that's in the shotgun. trailer, yeah. yeah. In yeah. The, but like they to see it as a whole, it's just like he just literally rolls up in a fucking convenience store with a shotgun. Yeah, let me get and some like, four. Let me get a okay. four logo and some sw- uh, slim uh, swisher sw- slim. Four logos, warheads, and <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> some Newports, and this you know, some Virginia slims. Man. And like the thing about it is, I've watched these movies since I was a kid, and so Scream is already kind of a nostalgic thing for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And it's one of my favorite series because of the meta-ness and I just, I grew up with it. And it was, it was a movie that got me into horror. Mm. And so, like, all the rest of them, you know, entertaining to whatever various degrees, but they're not good. I thought four was kind of trash. I thought that fifth one the, the, that kicked off this whole new thing, I'm like, you just redid the first. Basically. Yeah. You, you Star Wars Force Awakened it. Mm. But you, know what? <laughs> it's safe. you did the safe thing. It wasn't bad. It was just, it was what it was. And with this one, it was just like somebody said, fuck it. Just fuck it. Just do whatever you want. It can be dumb as shit because these movies are dumb. They are dumb. And don't play it seriously. Play it as over the top and stupid and what it should be as you can. And they did. And I had a fucking blast. Here's my question, though. What stopped them from going to New York anyway? I mean, you would have think they would have been to New York, like a bigger city, played it big in the second one, maybe the third one. Yeah. What stopped Jason from going to New York? It just I mean, he takes to, a while. He takes, <laughs> he takes But back. still. Like, <laughs> that, uh, hey, not really. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he, really did. He, he stayed around one little. He, right. he, one, he, was one, like, one, he was by the docks and now he was it. on house arrest. He yeah. was on house arrest, right. But it's just like, why, what stopped them from going to New York in the, the second one to play it big? What took them so long to get there? I don't there? know. I don't know what took. It was always like this thing with Scream where like, we have to keep it in this box. You yeah. know, we can't go too crazy. Yeah, a small and town so, where, yeah. where you, it's almost like a locked room mystery, but you know, mm. it's the town, but like you see all the suspects. When you go to New York, is it, there's Anybody. a murder. Anybody could have been And one. also the opening to me of that movie was legit as fuck. That's what hooked me so, with it. Because the opening starts with like, damn near you're in the middle. Like it's the killer. Like it's Ghostface killing people. And, and like, what, what the killed. fuck is going on? Yeah. And you see him kill people. You see who does it. You see, like, oh shit, this is the new Ghostface killer, and they get off immediately. You're like, okay, so the the real Ghostface just off these fake Ghost Faces. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And this motherfucker rolls up in a with a shotgun in a convenience store I, with I, everybody in the store. I will and I'm just say, like, this motherfucker doesn't care. <laughs> I, I was about to say, I will say on this note that the shotgun, the, the sound, the ch- ch- yeah. has it's always scary, been man. something that has been um, very prevalent in movies in general. Because what comes to mind is No Country for Old. Men, yeah, and oh, the silence on the shotgun. Yeah, that, that, that's not how those guns yeah. work. Either. No, yeah, it's right. 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 We know. <laughs> but it was terrifying. That shit was terrifying. <laughs> the man who was controlling the gun was terrifying. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, no, to me, it was that scene. It like I was watching, I was entertained, but that scene to me chilled me to the fucking bone because I'm like, this could easily happen. Like, it was, it was one of those things. This movie is so weird and out there and just. Kind of doesn't, you know, doesn't give a fuck. Like, it's the screen movie. I kind of never knew I wanted. Huh. And, like, to see, like, a serial, like, you see all these serial killers with their knives and their axes. To see one with a gun, it's just like, that's really fucking well, scary. Well, he, like, sna- he, he snatched the gun from the convenience store owner. He does. Yeah, yeah, and start going. Yeah. But here's my question. How do you keep outdoing the opening scene? You know, Scream is known for its opening, it's opening sequence, scenes. right? How do you? I don't out- think you can outdo that. You one. can't really outdo the one that they did in this one. You can't. To me, like that's probably the best you can do. Yeah, but it's yeah. like I mean, they're taking no. Sorry for the inside baseball, but isn't the new Scream like on hard times and a little bit? Right of the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they scrap. I'm not getting made for a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they they they, uh, they burnt some bridges. <laughs> they <definitely burnt> some bridges. <laughs> How long do you think they got to wait before they they bring it back? They Two have to years. Pay Nef Campbell. That's that's <laughs> really the key. Just pay Neff Campbell. Have uh-huh. her come in, come up with a new store. Because mm-hmm. like you had it with Jenna Ortega, she's a huge star, but you fucked that up. So yeah, right, right. Mm. Kill off, I guess. <laughs> it just started new. They really need to end it. To honest to God, seven, seven, is, a, the seven last. is a personal one. That needs to be it, the last and one. And it really does need Because I don't know what else they can do. Because, <laughs> like, they do everything at the wall with this last yeah, one. Yeah. Like, the reveal of the killers is so fucking stupid. It is so stupid. It is so good. They, came out, they came out like a, a boy band. It was just like, you know, bye, bye, bye. They roll yeah, up and they take free. off their masks. It's a dad and his I, kids. I, I didn't <laughs> think that, I could roll my eyes more. Man. Right. From, from the one before. Man. 
and then they did this one. I was like, they did, but all right, like, my to hat's me, off. They, they had so much good because I knew it was gonna be bullshit. Well, I knew it was just gonna it, be it some can only be bullshit some right. shit, and right. they did it. And I'm like, you but know wait. what? Fuck it, we almost out. Let me, fine. Wait. Let me ask y'all this: When you saw the movie, did you kind of knew that the daughter was not dead? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, you have to see people get and Cuba getting Junior son getting stabbed fifty seven times. And still oh, that's his son. That's his son. Yeah, really. That's his son. No, no shit. Really. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I that. I didn't know that. Yep, yeah, that's his kid. Wow. <laughs> He's doing better continues. than his dad. Yeah, right. well, <laughs> not in that way. No, <laughs> we could just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Career wise, career wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that, yeah, but yeah, yeah I, I kind of yeah. saw that the daughter was the killer. I was like, this is not new. No. No man, yeah. it, it, it's just like, but it was in, like it's a movie that knew it couldn't do much new, and that's why it took the liberties it did, and I I respected it, man. I had a great fucking time with that movie. <laughs> well, Martin, uh, do you have a favorite horror moment? You can pass if it's. I'm gonna uh, have to pass because, like I said, I didn't. It's, it's so I mean, specific. I get. I it. don't it really even remember specific. any horror movies from last year. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like, many. like like Bo is afraid. I mean, that's Winnie, a stretch call. Now. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was like, yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Like I don't. No, <laughs> it ain't many. Yeah. Well, um, and and uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I just want to kill uh, myself. Not that one. That yeah. almost won that, worst that effects was, that, for me. That, that was my, my worst movie. Funny of the thing last is, year. probably latter, the latter half of the movie, this man went to his bedroom, probably went to sleep. JJ went to sleep. Michelle left. And I was just sitting there like, well, I got to stay up now and watch the rest of the movie because everybody else <laughs> like, fucking fell asleep. <laughs> And that was the worst. I, I actually liked the lore better than I actually liked the movie. Well, there was a lot of people that were heavy into the lore that it was like, yeah, because you perfect. guys told me yeah. the lore, and I was just like, that's better than the fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to go home and read some more of this goddamn lore, but that movie was garbage. Yes. Stop making these damn video game movies. Yeah, like, movie stop it. Good, man. Stop. Well, the, the problem's not video game movies, it's just making bullshit. It's making that's shit, that's, that's yeah. only for the hardcore fans. Yeah. But that's they true. did show up and pay for it, so. I think I will continue to make it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we know we're wrestling fans. Or I, me and Jordan are wrestling fans. I used to be. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, this just has a little wrestling if flair. If you're referring to Iron Claw, I love it. No, no, no. Okay. It's <laughs> best Intercontinental movie. That's just wrestling title. Wrestling yeah. title. But it's just any international movie that you enjoyed the most last okay. year. Uh, so mine is very actually subtle after giving a wrestling entrance. It's probably the same as mine. Uh, mine's past lives. Mine's, yeah. I was going to say oh, that. Yeah, that was yeah. really good. It made it's, me cry a little. It, it did. It was, uh, it I didn't expect really to good. see a movie that's just about uh, everything is very passive. Yeah. Literally, this whole movie could be like, oh, I really like this chick, but she's married now, and we haven't seen each other in 20 years. Yeah. So you think it's going to go like the notebook route for yeah. a little bit because it's just like, oh, like they have words for it in Korean. It's like it, once you meet someone in so many of your past lives, you're supposed to be with them. But that's not how real life works. Yeah. And that's yeah. just basically what this yeah. movie is. Yeah. And I was just like, everything about this was awesome. I don't know. Like I enjoyed that a really, trip a yeah, lot. It's one of my favorites of the year. Because we got a movie, and it's rare, yeah. um, that was about adults. Yeah. Acting like adults. Yes. Mm. And, the, and the real yeah. world and how things and How go. adults would actually act yeah. in these situations. Yeah. Um, he literally meets her husband and is just kind of like, I didn't expect to like him as much as I did. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. That happens all, yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't say it happens all the time. Yeah. No, but... It's kind of a real, mo- real moment there. So, yeah. so that was actually mine too. But I'll, I'll pick Godzilla minus one. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. God damn it! I knew it was gonna be one of the two. God yeah, like, damn it! Really, I knew it was just gonna be so one of the two. So sorry. <laughs> well, Chris yeah. has Godzilla minus one. Yeah. On his but it, thing. yeah, Godzilla minus one was actually good for yeah. me. I think that's the only two international films I actually seen. Uh, the I only other it. one that I would give it to is maybe Suzume, but that's an anime movie. That's about it. I saw the uh, Taste of Things, and that was really good. I heard of that. It's yeah. nominated, right? Is Anatomy of a Fall with that count? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that would be Oh, mine. yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I saw that, too. That was good. Then. Yeah, yeah. I'll, since you did past I, lives. I, I, man, okay, watching that, weren't you like... Well, you, this French court does not work like <laughs> no, yeah. that. shit's so different. I was, I was like, oh screaming my God, at that place, is... screaming objection. What are you doing? Leave the witness. Is there a question here? <laughs> Boy, so I was man, like, man, don't don't get arrested in France. No shit, man. I didn't know that legal system was that way. No. It was like, fuck, okay, yeah, well. Prosecutor just come out and tell a whole fable about you. No shit. I like, was like, okay, you can do this here. <laughs> right. You look okay. Like, you know, you're like, Man, you ain't gonna say nothing. It was jarring because yeah. I was just like, okay, I didn't know international law was this way, but I guess it is, which made the movie that much more. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's just like that. I highly recommend that one for you. Like, try to seek it out because that—that's a good one. Man, that one. What movie? Anatomy of a Fall. 
That's also I love the structure too. of it too. Oh yeah, the, just yeah. the structure is phenomenal to me. So yeah, I'll plus there was so much of like, well, what did it really happen? Yeah, yeah, what did happen? It really like clouds it up to it. Like I mean, you are like it's a movie that just it hooks you and you're you're there and you're, it ain't gonna let you go till it's done. Uh, that's one movie I'll add to my list. Yeah. At the end, of the, I mean, Jordan's here writing down this and that. Um, On to a negative award. Uh-oh. Uh oh, worst Ooh. effects for last year. I can't do last oh, that's year. Easy. Oh, I can't wait. I can't do last year because you know what I'm gonna do this movie. What? Uh, Madam Web. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Web came out this year. I don't care. I'm breaking rules. <laughs> I, Madam Web. Had well, the I'll worst. let her have it. I'll uh, allow it. I'll allow it. Um, so I I haven't seen Madam Mine's Web, easy. but I I am of the believer that if you think a comic book movie which has a hundred million dollar budget, oh we, we have the same one. Uh, no no no. <laughs> okay. I'm of the belief that if you think a comic book movie had the worst. Uh, Budget, uh, had the worst effects. Do. You didn't see enough movies last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, because okay. I can name two off the bat that had the worst effects than even the Flash. That's and mine. Okay. You can say the Flash. That's, That's okay. But uh, Slother House is Slother House. <laughs> you really got to do it. It's a movie on. that came out last year. It wasn't year. a shutter though. <laughs> <laughs> it was shutter. It's a movie that came out last That's year. True. And We're Netflix's like... We Have a Ghost have way worse effects. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, does. It does. Oh, I didn't even know. It does, though. Yeah, no, it does. You can say the Flash. No, the you flash, can go. Absolutely. You you can go as bad as you flash want. Is absolutely, my answer. Cause fuck you, Warner Brothers. Fuck you, Zazzy, for that shit. For releasing that. That movie's such fucking garbage. And I dislike myself. I'm just now forgiving myself for seeing it. Because it's so bad. So what's better, uh, Madam Web or Flash? Oh, Madam Web's effects make... Look, Madam Web might as well be Jurassic Park <laughs> compared to the fucking Flash. They didn't give a flying fuck with they the Flash. They really didn't. They really didn't, man. And Madam Web's effects What, that had like three redos, I think? A lot. Which one? No, um, the Flash had like three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sequence whole. And Jonathan Majors is like, this man created a cult, and I just hit somebody, <laughs> and now I ain't got no fucking job. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Jonathan Majors is pissed right now, dude. Ezra <laughs> Miller got a pay. Oh my God, man. Jonathan Majors, you're with Disney, and Ezra Miller's with Sorry Ass Warner Brothers. That's why. <laughs> So yeah, no. Like, so you saying that uh, Marvel have standards? <laughs> In other words, more DC, than, DC more ain't got than no off. Yes, they do. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is an insult if you didn't catch that. But yeah, no. Yeah, no. Flash wins that by a fucking. Mile. We got a hype train coming, hey. guys. Hey. Hey. Slaughter train. Slaughterhouse? Slaughter Slaughter's House. Slaughterhouse. It's about, it's a, about killer a killer sloth. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, it's absurd. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> That's what I, I mean. I understand. I don't. I'm off the comic train for the most part. I'm glad that we only have two this year. I think Ant Man three is an honorable mention because that shit's bad too. Yeah. Um, but I'm just looking up pictures of what the sloth looks like in fucking Slough. Slother House. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. That's, that's, John, that's adorable. Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like writing down all these movies. Uh, That one's just on Hulu. If you really want to watch it, it's on Hulu? Uh, Yeah. Okay. I got it. (laughs) Jesus. Um, I have not gotten around to seeing The Flash yet. Same. Nobody should. Well, here's the thing it's like when it comes to comics, I'm a bigger DC than Marvel guy. Yeah. But DC is in this whole, like, we're starting a whole universe. So it's just like, why do I give a fuck about watching about The Flash or Aquaman, Aquaman 2? Yeah. yeah. Who fucking cares? Like, you just told me none of this matters. Yeah. Like, Aquaman, I've avoided Aquaman 2. It just for me on HBO Max, I have, I refuse. Oh, it's on Max now? Yeah. 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 I'm not going to watch it. Uh, I don't care. Like, I don't care about anything you're doing. <laughs> I'll watch the new Superman when it comes out. Oh, wait like, a minute. Now, now we it. watched superhero movies before. Before yeah. Thanos, we, there was no idea that everything was going to connect. And nobody was, everybody was fine with no, that. No, but they established now, Martin, that everything connects. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, even if it's a different universe, it, it connects. <laughs> and so when you fuck that up, I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. Not fuck Man, that up. You, you didn't follow your own rule. Man, people uh, hate on Aquaman too. I haven't seen you it. You think it's better than the first? Wait, wait, wait. You've seen it. Okay, wait. What do you think? I watched it and I thought, 
what was it that people saw in the first one? <laughs> that they are getting it now. Because <laughs> I was like, how, Same was, shit. how is this different? I actually, I feel like it's a little bit more coherent. So really? Co- and, and, Co- I mean, it, it, and, and you got some scenes with him and uh, Patrick Wilson as, as brothers. I was like, these are actually kind of funny. These, yeah. these, these actually kind of work here. It's just everything is so overblown. Right. But with that first one, I, I came out laughing. I was like, wow, that was, that was awful. That, so, that, that, that was awful, right, guys? Right? And everybody's like, oh, man, it's cool. I was like, oh, fuck, You're alone. If they agree, you're not. You better run. That was the dumbest shit I've Mom, seen. I, Boy, so yeah. the, I heard that uh, Jason Momoa is not doing Aquaman or he doesn't want to reprise the role again. Is that true? Yeah, he wants to be Lobo. Who? I thought that oh, was, was a much better character. I, thought, yeah, I, I, I know who Lobo is. He that's would the, fit that way. That's better. the funny thing. Watching Aquaman 2, you're like, you're look, Lobo. Look at Patrick Wilson is like, you know, you really should have been Aquaman. <laughs> no shit. It's Patrick Wilson awkward. really should have been. I saw that in the first one. Yeah. I'm like, no, this is your, like, he's, that's, that's, that's Arthur right there. Yeah, like, that's him, your but, guy. Yeah. But. And like, no, Jason Momoa is fully low. Boy, like, how that's do you like, he should be yeah. playing. Do you like Black Mantra in the film? Was he good? Uh, Black Manta? Manta. Black Manta. Sorry, like Black, Black Manta. Manta. <laughs> Chakras. <laughs> like, in comic books, Black Manta's one of my favorite villains. Is he? He is. Because, yeah. I mean, him how many Hush. Black villains do you see? Huh? Him and Hush. Hush, I love Hush. Yeah, Hush yeah, is good. Sorry. But like, no, I like, I've always had a cuts. soft spot for Black Manta, uh, and so like, I'm just, I, I like, know, he, he I like Yaya. Yeah, yeah, I love the actor, and it's just baby, man. Yeah, Come man. And I'm just. Oh, like, he did. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That actually sold it for sure. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he did, and that's why, like, no, he's a he's a real fucking villain. Like the Black Manta is no fucking joke. Like he does not yeah. give a flying I'll fuck. Take it. That's why he's one of my favorites. Like he does not care. He did kill his kid. Like he doesn't care, man. And that's why I'm like, and you don't do him justice in this. And it's just like, or in anything that you know, the last one was well, he was kind of a joke. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he yeah. He's, and it's he's, just he's like barely a, an entity in the, in the first one. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's he's more of a thing here, but it, you know, it can't just be him doing his thing. Yeah. He's got to be taken over by these right. elder gods. Somebody else. Or, yeah. It's or, just like no, he's his own character, and they don't do that. Just I'm just like burning this shit to the ground. <laughs> Bring Superman Legacy on. Let's restart this shit, man. I'm actually excited about that one. So, yeah. 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 I fucking people, hate Superman. A lot of people. You do? <laughs> I despise Superman. Tell me what is wrong with you, man. So We're not going to get wait, into wait, that. Wait, wait. That's a whole it's, thing. it's not even not like Superman. You despise no, I Superman? Fucking, he's, my, he's the superhero I he like. He only likes Superman wise. when he's evil. I, why, I love him when he's evil. Why, why, why do you? Because that's realistic. No, it's not. That's <laughs> absolute. Martin, if you had the power of a god, you wouldn't just wreck some shit just to do it? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> just me, to do it. Me, 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 a human person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or me the Kryptonian. Okay, no, no. If you were raised knowing you had godlike powers, <laughs> just me, knowing your youth. Me, 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 me I trained success. Yeah. Well, you would have been raised like he was raised. Okay, so here's the thing, because it, it makes perfect sense why Superman is the way he is. Because what you're saying, yeah. what, what does that lead? What, what, what's the what's the end game on that? What, him being evil? Yeah. Uh, taking over the world. Okay, and then doing what? That's all you need to do. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's the day to day? boring, but. What's you, the day to day on that? Uh, Go to the Fortress of Science. I give you chill for most I mean, of the yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, pop yeah, yeah. in every like, now and again. You, you cross the going. line that you can't come back from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a. I love Injustice Superman. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I love Injustice, I like that Injustice Superman. Superman. He's because, already fought Mike. You're not going to win. No, you're not. Right. I despise Superman. But I'd uh, love one of my favorite. Ironically, one of my favorite comic books is All Star Superman. Because I'm like, if you could do a Superman story, it needs to be that. It needs to be he's. He's going to die. Like, he's so overpowered. He's only going to be here for a certain time. This motherfucker needs to go. Either he's evil or he needs to go. He needs a timeline. Like, he's too powerful of a character. He's too fucking cheesy. And he's too fucking stupid. Uh, I despise him. I fucking hate him. Man, uh, I, I hate him. We, yeah, well, we, well, look, listen. No, nobody can argue whether you hate him or not. Right. But, but, you, <laughs> but, but you saying he's corny and cheesy, you have to prove that. What do you mean? What, do you, I, what I just said. How is he not? How how, how is he? He gets fooled by Zatanna all the time. By fooled, by, fooled by Zatanna. Fooled, well, she, magic. Well, fuck that. Magic fools him. He's not good with magic. <laughs> Are you good with he magic? He sucks with magic. I don't have superhuman powers. He does. <laughs> Let me add intelligence to that so I can really do some shit. He doesn't. He's just naive in this Boy Scout, he is and not I fucking naive. hate that. He's not. He, 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 it's, it's like you you reading Lex Luthor's propaganda. I love Lex Luthor. <laughs> I love Lex Luthor. I root for Lex Luthor more than I root for Superman. Okay, that's saying I love Trump. No. No. You heard it. You heard it. He said it, not me. No, it's not. Lex Luthor hates Superman the way I hate Superman, so enemy of my enemy is my friend. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just... I just... 
I want you the, to open The way Trump shit. hates Batman should not beat you. That's my thing. Batman shouldn't Batman beat, didn't beat Batman. Superman. He, <sighs> he what? Did, you're talking did, about, did you read all the Dark Knight re- re- Returns? I did. Okay. He shouldn't have even got that close is what I'm saying. Because super, Superman is his friend. He's, it's, it's, it's like like if your girlfriend was hitting you and you're going like, please stop, please stop. <laughs> and, and, he should have killed Bruce Wayne. And, 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 One punch, and, kill and his she, ass. And she's not hurting you, but she's hitting you. And afterwards, you're annoying and afterwards everybody's going like, man, she kicked your ass. You're like, hey, no. Nah, I pulled punches. Really. I get it. But it's uh, like, but no, kill him. He's a nuisance. Get rid of him. You have all the power to do so, so do it. He doesn't do you it, don't understand and I hate power. that shit. But the power- no, you abuse it, Bart. <laughs> no, no, abuse that no, shit. no, no. Real power is when you have the ability and you choose not to. No, I get. I guess Spider Man. I get that. Next week, <laughs> next week on BT but like, News. Nah, man. I just I can't Thomas. rock with it, Martin. I can't rock with it. I'm too much of. You know, a, we've only had like an hour and thirty minutes of show. <laughs> Put it this way, Martin. I'm too cynical to root for Superman. I'm far too cynical to believe a man could be that good with that much power and not abuse the shit out. Well, of that's me, the whole, it's just unrealistic. I was about to say that, that's the that's, whole that's, that's the whole point of Superman. It's unrealistic. Like, you got to believe that's, in that. I can't believe in that. Character. That says more about you than it does about Superman. Probably. Well, he's dumb. <laughs> Let's get back on track you know, here first. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it a track? Yeah, right, right, uh, right. There's a part so two. strangely based on everything that uh, across, this whole argument is about. Uh, this this, uh, the, this Martin, is the cliffhanger what is across your, the Flash ba- Spider Verse. What film had the worst effects last year? <laughs> Man, I don't even know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I feel like Martin that, looks at me differently well, now. Well, you know what? No. No, it's all right. It was bound to happen. I don't that know. Took a lot of right it was bound to happen. It's yeah. a lot um, of both of y'all. To get us back right, this next award is called Right in the Fields. And it's just what scene like got you right in the fields where and and, and I will say that there is a couple of movies that I didn't give this award to because I'm like, you're just too heavy handed. This whole movie has been punching me in the dick, so I didn't need this. <laughs> so um, I'm actually giving it to a movie where it's just like you didn't punch me in the dick until right, uh, right at the right time. Yeah. And this was when Mary Lamb gets drunk in the holdovers. Oh. Because yeah. that whole movie is just like movie. we're stoic men. Yeah. We don't show emotion. Mm-hmm. We just deal with everything. And Old uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then Mary Lamb is the cafeteria worker, and she's just like, my son died. And she just shrugs it off for most of the movie yeah. until she gets drunk. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, you end up in this weird, well, not weird, but it's just, it grabs you, this convoluted scene where it's just kind of like, well, I didn't expect this at this moment. <laughs> and that, for me, that was one of the most powerful moments of I last agree. year. I like that. Yeah. That was good. Jordan, you didn't you didn't like that movie. <laughs> no, I'm just I don't do emotion well like that. Uh, There's a lot of movies that try to grab your emotion the, last year. It did not do that. I didn't get a lot either. <laughs> really? That one probably, I, I'm, I might have to just take that one because yeah, it wasn't a lot of things that grabbed me emotionally. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> you can pass. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. I might have to just back to yours. Because I do love the hold of like that whole that's might be my that's on Peacock my right movie. yeah yes that might be one of my favorite movies of the year like it's fighting for first uh, yeah no Divine is the actress in that and yeah she she's absolutely gonna was that the cafeteria lady yeah mm. oh yeah 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 she's a great actress she's the only thing that kind of redeemed the idol a little bit because that move that show is trash but like no she's fantastic she was fantastic in that yeah that got me too so yeah, yeah like right now off the top of my head that's that's the only one I can kind of yeah once she breaks down is like it's he's gone right yeah. It, it it really hits you, hmm. and she deserves that credit. So yeah, and there's a lot of movies about loss last year, but I'm just saying like a lot of them are like punches in the dick, and this yeah. one was just kind of like this kind of came from left field because she she was yelling at, at the characters earlier. It's like you know we're going to this party, <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna have fun, and she's the one that kind of ruins the fun in a way. Yeah, mm. and you don't expect it really. <laughs> like it, it kind of catches you off guard, and like her character just really swoops in and. To me, she's I, a heart of that movie. I would man. say like a weird. Paul Giamatti's great, but she. I was about to say like a, a heart, weird yeah. secondary yeah. like to this in the holdovers, is when Paul Giamatti is like, I've finally mustered the ability to hit on this person, yeah. and then her husband shows up or her boyfriend yeah. shows up in that scene, and I was just kind of like, and it all happens in the background. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you're just looking at Paul Giamatti's face of like, I just wasted all this energy right yeah. now. 
Eh. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Very true. Uh, Emma Stone's and Poor Things was amazing. Yes. I don't know if there's any moment she in was. Emma uh, that was overwhelmingly sad. No, a lot of the, a, a lot, of, every a moment of Poor Things is pretty empowering. Where it's just yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's this baby. Like, because literally, it's like we put this baby's brain in a woman. Yeah, and you're like, you did what? That's not even the crazy part. It was he's at the the, the fucking table. It's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> bubble comes out. And, what the oh, yeah. fuck? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. She's amazing. That, but like, you put this going. baby's brain in a woman, and uh, the whole time you're supposed to focus on the woman, and there's a dog duck in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bella likes that. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> uh, the, the movie air when Matt Damon calls Chris Tucker to say the deal didn't go through, which puts everyone's jobs at risk. Ooh, that's, that's a good, a good scene, one. Guys. That was a really good scene. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it, was a, it was a lot of uh, adult dramas that had, mm -hmm. you know, those those moments something yeah. to pull from. And, and I love those. And uh, conversely... The movie that hit me the most that actually made me tear up was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell, yeah. please. Say oh well, yes. that's what it was designed for, no, no, Mark. Say, oh, say, no. say, say, say more. I know, I know it goes against. Some might call that emotionally it, manipulated. It, it, I don't know, be, like me. Be, I don't know. Be, wait, wait. Be that say, as it may. Yeah. Say more. Say more. Be, be, be that as it may. Sometimes it, you know, it it does it. Uh, yeah. Because I'm not thinking I'm going to feel that from from something like this, but. Man, uh, the the plight of Rocket and the other animals. Um, yeah, it, you know, didn't see it coming and it got me. Yeah, and I, I saw it twice and both times. Uh, why? What? I, I, so I don't remember Guardians three that well, but I remember I one of the one of the animals yelling around like, "Oh no! Oh no! Oh no!" Something like that. And then it's just like everyone's being murdered left and right, and oh, I was yeah. just kind yeah. of like. This is so heavy. It was so fucking sad, man. Yeah, like it's so sad. And it's it's just land like, before time. Sad. It, oh, uh, more so. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was to me like, oh fuck you, James Gunn. You know, <laughs> like man, come on, dude. Like really, this is what you're gonna do? Get the cutest fucking mutated CG animals you can. <laughs> Have them be super fucking lovable. Oh, it's the walrus yeah. that dies, doesn't it? And all then, of them, uh, yeah, all of them die. no, I know they all die, yeah. but it's the walrus that's dead, and then the, the bunny is his friend. Yeah, and she, yeah, like it's so fucked. Like it is some. It's beyond land before time, or like any of those Bambi or any of those old <laughs> Man, fucking it, it, cartoons or where they just because they got you when you were a kid. But yeah, yeah. Then I'm an adult now. Yeah. And you like you went the extra mile to do that I'm shit, so and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Personally, I don't appreciate it. I'm sure he was like, "Listen, this is my last one. You gonna remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, I said I was gonna see Superman. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no DC EU for me. Or uh, DCU. I'm sorry, you changed it. You took the E out. Oh wow, it's a difference. Yeah, no, okay. fuck you. That's, That's fair. That That's fair. The emotional scene. That's fair. Okay. All right, and then you passed. Uh, this next one might be also. A little bit hard, but you're free to pass, or you're going to do the obvious answer, and that's also fair. Uh, favorite song or musical score from last year, however you want to take it, just music and movies. I mean... So, mine is actually a little bit of a left turn, because I don't like the movie, mm -hmm. and it's Killers of the Flower Moon by Charlie Crockett. Yeah. I like the country song. As a four-minute country song, mm -hmm. that's just like, oh, sad country song about people dying left right. and right. Makes sense. Makes sense. I don't want to watch a four-hour movie. Of that country uh, song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear you, I hear you. yeah. Try back doing that with Iron Claw. Do, do, do a double feature there. Uh, no. What you got, Joy? Pass. I have no movie. Mine's simple. I, I, it's kind of a, a, a shameful thing, but not really. Like, Because it's a good song. I like the Billie Eilish's song for Barbie, honestly. I thought that fit. The, See, I was expecting a lot of people to go Knuff, so. Yeah. Like, that scene where it pops up in the movie, I'm like, perfect spot for it. Catchy song. What it's probably going to win Oscar because that's the only one people remember. So, yeah. No, no. The, literally, Ken Uff is being Ken performed. Ken is actually the one. Yeah, it's going to be performed more, so. at the Oscars. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's gonna, it's, so, you it's got two win. songs nominated. Yeah, Ken. I, Ken Ken yeah. and Billie and Eilish. Yeah. Yeah. Billie Eilish is going to win. It's going to be a second it, yeah. Oscar. She's going to win. Yeah, she did for James Bond, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Color Purple? I'm, yeah. Man, look. No. There is one whole, song that's a whole that I conversation I'm not getting. It is, no, but there is one song in there. But I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. not enough for me to be like, oh, I'm gonna play this on repeat. All the song of all. Give my life over to Christ because this song. Because he remade his musical. No, yeah, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, <laughs> same. I could have said I could have said something with Mean Girls, but I'm like, no, nah, I'll pass on that. That was too. also this year. Oh, that's right. That's that right. Fuck year, it. Yeah. Martin. 
Uh, as far as score goes, I don't you can know. go score, or you can go song. Either well, way is well, fine. Well, with score, I don't know the names of any songs, but I, I, my favorite music was from American Fiction. Uh, just oh, fan, amazing music. Uh, jazz soundtrack through through all that. I, uh, song though. Um, uh, peaches, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good shit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, no. I feel like that's the obvious answer. I that is a good answer. I did really love American Peaches Fiction great. a lot when I saw it. And it was just, I felt like I learned more about you watching the movie. Because <laughs> it it's just, it's kind of one of those things where someone said, when someone says, this is my favorite movie, mm-hmm. and I, I heard a lot of people talking about, oh, Martin really likes American F- Fiction. I think he even posted about it on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And then when I saw it, I was like, Oh no! Nah. When yeah. I saw it instantly, <laughs> before I even know he liked it, I was like, "Oh no, this is not Martin written. No, this movie was made for Martin." <laughs> That's how I felt watching it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was an odd experience. I was yeah. like, "What is going?" On? <laughs> well, that one went by fast, yeah. at least. Um, this one is also going to be a little bit hard, so mm-hmm. feel free to pass. Okay. Favorite fight scene? Oh man, that's, and- that's kind of easy. Okay, well, mm. mine is actually once again from Sisu. Oh, and it's uh, they shoot at his dog. I remember that. So it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's so if you haven't seen Sisu, it's basically like John Wick set in World War Two. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> really yeah. Is. super accurate. Yeah, I double featured the two. On the plane. Really? Yeah, when I went to California, I double featured the two of those movies, and it was the best double feature you could have. <laughs> it was like super it's not a long flight to California, so that's a no. that's the perfect. No, I mean I didn't get through all of John Wick, and I paused it so the flight back I finished it. Oh. Like yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's easy. It's short. Yeah, it is it's short. Like, out, it's they, like flight to California is like two hours, and <laughs> <laughs> like that one was over, and yeah. I got like thirty minutes in John Wick for. So I was like, damn, I can't. I forget my own fight scene. Damn it. We can go to Tommy and then... Yeah, go to Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's John with the staircase. I love that. That shit was great. That was, <laughs> was ridiculous. It was so fucking ridiculous, <laughs> man. The only thing that made it not so ridiculous that we had just seen him fall out of a three-story building. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then he get, wait, he got... Well, the, the one before he got shot, then... For, <laughs> oh, yeah. So it was like, oh, he's fine. <laughs> like, that's rough for him, though, John. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, At the end, when he dies, you're like, really? Yeah. <laughs> After all that this? did it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's <what> it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, I while, guess I'll see you in the ballerina. Yeah. Like. <laughs> no, my, while Jordan and Martin uh, think of them, so we I, got the Battle of the Kens <laughs> and the Barbie Beach fight is. scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you get yours? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Also from John Wick, yeah. when he fought uh, Scott Atkins <laughs> in, in the fat suit. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I honestly love that. I yeah. mean, like, like, not ironically. I was like. You know what? For something that's so ridiculous, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> that movie has the perfect balance of just ridiculous and like, like no, I gen- this is genuinely just good. I mean, this good anymore. Like, like, I'm, yeah. I'm not a fan of the John Wick movies, but really? that one, I was just like... I don't know many people who don't like that one. Oh, I, well, it was just like the production on this yeah. is beautiful. It's amazing. It's you know gorgeous, what? yeah. Yeah, it's like, look, you, you're never going to get a good acting performance out of Keanu. Just, you just give, give, <laughs> Look, he's good at what he's good at. Yeah. And we like him as a person. You yeah, sure? And sure. so it's just like we'll support. Yeah. 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 But uh, but everything else about it, I was like, <laughs> okay, I, I I give it up to you. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, your your world and the economics of this world hey, don't make sense at you, all. You built it. You established it. <laughs> but okay. Motherfucking fall out a window after getting shot and be fine. But after this, he's dead. Whatever. Whatever. You know what? I had fun. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I will say I that uh, in one of the earlier movies when he got hit by a car twice, but here the cars just bounce him around. Oh, it was like ping pong. Yeah. With cars. I, I was yeah. like, Wow, these cars, they hit a person and nobody even steps on their brakes <laughs> no. a little bit. No, it's, it's it's the most absurd world you can ever see. Yeah. And you're just there for it. I'm there for it every time. I we killed somebody with a horse. I, so I haven't seen a John Wick. I haven't seen a John Wick since John Wick one. Are you kidding me? You do say what? what? I haven't seen a John Wick since John Wick one. What are you doing with your life? I'm close to yeah, you. Good. <laughs> no, don't no, no. You're you listen fine. to us. The, he, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> really? You too? Uh, here's I the problem. After, well, hey, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and we covered this earlier okay. in horror moments that it's just like the worst thing you can tell me is a movie is okay. So when I have two people tell me it's great and two people tell me it's okay, how does that uh, how you balance? Uh, yeah, and it's, it just ends up being like you're gonna get lost in the queue. At that point, you flip for it. <laughs> <laughs> But at this point, I have to watch three John Wicks in order to catch up. You will up. have the best time of your life. 
okay, I have to watch. Okay. I have okay. to watch three John Wicks to catch up. I have yeah. to watch. Four screams to catch up with the. No, that ain't worth it. You don't need to do that. You need to watch what? this. What? You don't need to follow See, well, that's up. what I'm saying. I end up in this gray universe, and then and then you know, then, you know what's going to happen next month? I'm going to go see Monkey Man instead. That's what. what... I think that's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> but like, no, with Scream, man, like, no, it's a one off. You can just watch Scream Six, and you'll get everything you need to get out of it. But like, John Wick is fun. I, I don't think that's true, Tony. Really? Yeah, yeah because the movies keep referencing other movies. Right. Yeah, but. Like, like they, they all keep referencing what happened. But in the we have YouTube movies. now, and you can do recaps. So do that <laughs> instead of watching it. Homework. Huh? That's it. You gotta do homework. Oh, they're like fourteen minute videos. It'll catch you up on the entire thing. You'll be good to go. It was kind of one of the funniest things because when I saw Bo is Afraid, which is three fucking hours, yeah. for a little bit, I did a search and like, what was the meaning that the director was trying to put? And all those videos are forty five minutes, and I was like, oh, fuck I'm this. I'm not watching forty five minutes. <laughs> I'm so what Bo is like, afraid. Like, no, like, no one knows. But all he asked. No, it's like, I'm so supposed like, to watch Oh, I saw a couple that were 10 minutes long, and it was like, this is up for interpret. I'm like, I'm not nah, watching already this. already lost. Yeah, no, I need a definitive answer of what this shit that I just saw was about. Yeah, because you're like, I want a video. I just want a yeah. statement. That's right. it. Right. You right. give me a sentence. Give me three yeah, sentences, yeah, and I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm completely fine. Uh, mine was actually the fight scene in Across the Spider-Verse, when they're at the... Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that was actually a good one. That's a really I will get that to that one. Yeah. I was trying to remember. I was like, damn, fight scene. What the fuck? Oh, that was it. Got it. So that was my favorite fight scene. Yeah. Well, uh, the next one is a little bit convoluted because we've had all sorts of favorite scene awards. But overall, mm-hmm. what was your favorite scene that you just remember in your head a lot from last year? Uh, mine is this actually weird moment. If you haven't seen Susan May, mm-hmm. Um, the whole movie is just, it's different because all he's done is write love stories for three movies yeah. and he doesn't do it his fourth movie in a way where it's just kind of like, there is a love story in it, but it's not as important. Yeah. Uh, but there's a moment where the older version of yourself is hugging the younger version of yourself. And it's just like, Oh, she's comforting her inner child. And I just thought it was very cool. That yeah. was, and it's only because Susan May is done in like the coolest colors you could ever imagine an anime being done. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the director that does Susan May is actually what people are looking for at this point when they think of a Miyazaki film, mm-hmm. just because Miyazaki is, so far up his ass where it's just like oh like this is about nature and this is about reclaiming nature and it's just like no this is, my movie's about people that's about it um anybody else want to take this right off the bat because everyone's looking at their phone so yeah, yeah I, 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 I know you're all are, i know you're all are doing research and there was a lot of movies out there that also had a favorite scene there's the the speech and the holdovers when he's just like hey son i know you're a fuck up but i believe you can be a good person i thought that was really great yeah no, I know what I have a scene that when you said the first scene that pops into your mind, I had one. No, like, I don't so want I, that one. You said it's on Netflix, Susan May? Susan May? Susan May? No, you got to get Crunchyroll. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming for you. No, I have one. Uh, Fuck. Wait, me, me, oh, me, sorry. me. Yeah, you got one. Have you got one? You got one. So. <laughs> they get less nitty gritty after no, this. No, this is going to be off the wall. So, this is in Poor Things. <laughs> it's the scene where once she figures out her G spot, she takes that big <laughs> palm and sticks it right up there and she's like struggling a little bit and then she puts it in there. She's like trying to do the same thing to the maid and the maid's like, get your hands off me. <laughs> That's actually my favorite scene. <laughs> I do like how it Powering, I guess that movie is supposed to be like I can't it say is. it. I'm not a I woman, mean, but it's just jumping it, jacks. No, it yeah. is like it gets it gets a point across. I, I, I had a, a discussion with one of my friends where it's just kind of like I feel like poor things is what Barbie kind of thought it was going to be in a way. No, and no, 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 and I understand that. I know I understand your argument too. I understand your argument too. But I just meant that everyone posted. Everyone talked to me about Barbie being this super feminist movie. Yeah. They're both feminist they in, just, they're in both different both ways. They moves in different ways, yeah. And um, the way that my friend talked about it that's a writer, she was like, well, Barbie could never do what Poor Things is mm-hmm. because um, they weren't going to ever cover sexuality when it comes to the way that Barbie movie is covered. Poor Things does that a lot. Yeah. And it was just kind of like it's very liberating the way that it does it, th- that, that Barbie was never going to do that. It has to do cover feminism in a different kind of way. And I was mm-hmm. just kind of like... Thank you for illustrating the difference. I appreciate Barbie a little bit more at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, Barbie can be a very feminist movie, and in a movie that comes out after it can be more feminist, mm -hmm. but that doesn't take away how feminist Barbie was to begin with. Well, they're yeah. covering different aspects of yeah, it, and I understand that. Yeah. 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 And yeah, Mattel was not going to let nah. anything like that happen. <laughs> but even taking that cynical view out of it, uh, adding, you know, putting sexuality into a Barbie movie would have been crowbarring it in there because yeah. that has nothing yeah. to do with the, with the talk with the toy or anything that has gone on, along True. with it. Uh, that's just you know somebody just trying to be snarky. Hey, look what I did. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, they do make vagina jokes and stuff in the Barbie yeah, movie. Yeah, still, kind of. They, 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 they don't have they genitalia, they, so you got to make a joke. Yeah, <laughs> you got to yeah, make a joke. Yeah, about the, that. the obvious thing, you know, but yeah. it's it's kind of skirting around it. Like, yeah, we'll we'll mention it. Right? Hey, everybody happy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> got that. <out> <laughs> you good? You good? <laughs> okay, okay. Man, to keep saying like, oh, when won't they do this? We did it. Now shut up. <laughs> Sit down and watch the rest of the movie. Uh, well, mine, like I said, I didn't. I didn't want this to be it because I'm not. I mean, I have a weird thing with this movie, but. Color purple? No, Oppenheim. <laughs> like the the test scene when they test the bomb and everything. Everybody's putting on their glasses mm -hmm. and all that shit. And just like just the silence, the hype up, the fact there's no noise whenever like it happened. Like to me, that scene was just done beautifully. Mm -hmm. I'm not like that movie. Well, I'm sure we'll get to it. To me, <laughs> if it would have cut off before the third act, I'm like, this would probably be the best movie I've seen. I will I will it say I didn't and it, I didn't it is finish. a big detriment to it. I didn't finish Oppenheimer. Like you started I, it, though. I started okay. it, and I got through most of it, yeah. and I was just very much like, this was a movie specifically made for theater. It's so oh. fucking beautiful, the it's entire absolutely. thing. Yeah. It's, it's well directed. Kirk, no, Dunkirk is like that. Dunkirk exactly You can only watch like it in a theater. That. You yeah. cannot watch it at home. It's yeah. just massively done. It's true. Interstellar is like that, I'm glad JJ has a 70-inch TV. That's all I'm going to see. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, like with Oppenheimer, man, it was like, God damn, like I see, like you are Christopher Nolan and the fuck out of this and you're doing great. <laughs> All the things I like about you, you're doing. Well, before and the, then the, he gets the, to that the, point where he does everything I don't like about him and I'm just like, <laughs> well, you just fucked this up. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate that again. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man, you got to stop. Like when you got it, you just got to stop. Well, there was a. I was what I was gonna say is there's a point way before that where I'm just like, dude, you're just you're taking breaks yeah. in the middle of the story to be like, these are atoms and how like dude, colorful and yeah. then the sound would be beautiful. Yeah, man, it's, it's just like, all right, just like, <laughs> come on now, help me out, Chris <laughs> Nolan. I'm, I, will, I, I want to like you. I want to love this, and you just make it so fucking hard to do so. And like, like I said, he had me. Like he had me. And he lost it. I could see how that movie captivates you a yeah, lot in theater. Yeah. It, it totally and, had me, man. And it, and it was very disappointing to walk out of that movie like, fuck, like you almost did it. You almost did it, but you didn't. And so, yeah, that's how I feel about Oppenheimer. Like, it was a big disappointment to me. Mm. It really was. Like, disappointingly so. Because I was there for it. And I, I gave it all the credit I could give it. And it was like, you let me down. <laughs> you really let me down. <laughs> but I love Robert Downey Jr. in it. I oh, yeah. really love Chilean Robert Mur Downey. Uh, is it Cillian? Killian. Killian. Killian Murphy, yeah. Killian Killian Murphy. All the actors, minus Emily Blunt, who didn't have much to do, <laughs> uh, killed it. Like, they really all did great. Yeah. Like, Benny Safdie did great. Like, he was good in it. Yeah, like, it's just, man, it, he he out, he just keeps doing it. He did it with Interstellar. Like, he That's out, what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he did it with Dunkirk. He keeps doing it. You need to stop, man. You need to rein yourself in. Or someone needs to, you need to hire I mean, it's a long-ass movie, I'm going to be honest. Which one? And open up and I'm as long. And I'm okay with like I'm not one of those people. I'm okay with long. You can give me a four hour movie. I watch Irishman straight through. Like I'm good with that. I sober? Can do that. Sober. Cause I, I, I had a drink on that one. I had a drink that, through that I was one. Invested man. The second half was like, bro, I need a drink. I was good. Like I was good. If you can get me. You got me. I will watch the rest of the movie. I don't care if it's five hours long. That's the type of movie you, you go. You going too far, man? I love it's him. like no. But, like he lost me. And uh -uh. so, but it was it to me that was the best movie moment of the year. In the best scene, you know? So, yeah, that's mine. Well, Martin, what's yours? I don't know. We've seen so much. It's hard to pick. A, uh, I'm thinking about what sticks with me because I had to, <laughs> had so much going on. Uh, but you know what? I, I take that back. Uh, the moment, a movie moment that stuck with me probably the most because me and my daughter were in the car talking about it. And... It led me to going to Spotify and cranking up the song as loud as I could, and we jammed to it. And it is when the Von Ericks enter the ring and they play Tom Sawyer. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I like that. I like that one. 
Yeah, we I need have, to give some credit to Iron Claw because we haven't we haven't really yet, and it's just like uh, that credit for that fucked. is coming to me. Oh, okay, Calvin, that movie's really good, man. Yeah, it's depressing as fuck, but it's really, really, yeah. really good. Well, to, yeah, go ahead. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, unfortunately, <laughs> Martin had to take off. He's really busy this weekend. Uh, if you are local to Austin, go ahead and go to the barbecue for the rodeo. He will be there, but that's why he's been so busy. Yeah. He, he has to check in and take off. Uh, but it's only ten dollars to get in. Apparently, it's twenty dollars to park, yeah. but it's only ten dollars to get in. So yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Event's great though. Yeah, if you're in the area, drop in. Um. So I'm going to take a little bit of a personal note on this next one. Uh, so best story is just kind of like best script. Best script, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how it's supposed to be seen. I saw this movie after one of my best friends for a long time had committed suicide. And it's probably like anyone that's smart would be like, don't watch this movie. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I already know what movie you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, uh, don't watch a movie about suicide. And it's, Multiple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, there's a point where the third brother was just like, I, I just, I'm sick. I hurt all the time and I'm just done. I, yeah. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, but the entire movie, like I, the, I, I put off watching this, not because really? of this, how sad it was. It's no, just, I already knew this story. Yeah, yeah. no, I knew the story. You know, but wrestling, I, uh, you know that story. Yeah. But I mean, I hate non, uh, I hate non-fictional stories for the most part because it's just kind of like. Well, the movie always ends at this point where it's just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> and no. then everything was okay, and then it's just kind of it like, was, but that's not, but that's not most life. of them. It yeah, wasn't, yeah. yeah. Like you look at like Walk the Line or some shit, and it's like I think City of God is the only one that's just kind of like my This is a non-fictional yeah. story, and everything was okay. <laughs> and also known as one of the most historically accurate. City of God. No, I, so, yeah. you, keep, you know what? You that's keep rec- you keep recommending that movie. I'm writing that down. No, that's on my, my list. favorite movie of all time. Yeah. Like, I've recommended that right movie now. to so many people, even people who don't like foreign films, and every last one of them like I fucking love that movie. But no um, one has told me they disliked it. City of Gods. Uh, City, City of God. God. Yeah. I can give you the DVD if you need it. Um, I have it. Sweet. I've bought it three times. Yeah. <laughs> so this movie, if you're not aware of it, it's called Iron Claw, and. I had a lot of friends talking shit about it in a way where it's just uh, I had wrestling friends talk yeah. shit about it where it's just like it's not really about wrestling and I was like it's not no and then I had other friends like um, that are also well known podcasters be like uh, <clears throat> they kind of got what they could deserve they they're dumb wrestlers and I'm like that's the not fuck? Wow. Hey, what wow Jesus the, Christ that's, yeah that's, that's not the message You're not either with them anymore right. <laughs> I've not seen them since they gave me that note, but it was just kind of one of those things. I'm like, this movie could be about anything, anything that's hyper, anything that's hyper masculine. Mm-hmm. It could be about football players uh, committing suicide yep. because they can't deal with the pressure. Easily. It could be about firefighters. Like, it's literally Cops, like whatever. I'm. Yeah, so I, it was like it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, about it's like a, fa- a shitty father <laughs> and his sons, and this hyper masculine like. Yep. This whole movie, like, is just being carried. Oh, man. Like, but- think, like, I'm sorry. Like him, like the way he interacts with his sons. I was like, it's moments like, fuck, that's my dad. Like, yeah. You know, and it's I don't care who you are. If you have one of those hard ass dads or have had one, it's 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 gonna be a moment in this movie where it's like, fuck, that was my dad. Like, yeah. it's just gonna. And yeah, that's that whole raising raising your boys beast is super <clears> hyper masculine. <throat> rub some dirt on it. You know, but it's kind of like pathology in a way because yeah. I'm pretty sure his dad was the same way to him. Oh, yeah, passing absolutely. it down to everything else, and the only way they know how to sh- express love is through toughness. Yeah. Well, well, Serenity, I understand because Serenity is bringing up hyper masculine. Now I don't want to see it. Uh, this movie is about breaking that yes, chain. Yes, it is exactly it, about, and that. that's actually why it's like it's not about wrestling. It's yeah. not about all this no, other stuff. It's literally about problem. being like. I need to do what's best for me for and best, me. For, best. I need to for break my... away from this shit because this yeah. shit is not good. Yeah, and that's what the movie really is about. Yeah, it's it's that, especially in the time period that it's set in. And it's just like well, the resolution to the plot is I'm selling my dad's company and I'm gonna be okay now. Yeah, I'm finally gonna be okay now. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's that. Man. It, it. I don't know why I didn't mention that. It's one of the most powerful. Like it's a powerful moment when that happens. So it's just like. Like I, man, you used to see this fucking character go through shit, man. And I think it's the first time he somebody, finally is like breaks free of that. Like it, it is powerful. And it's meaningful. I think that's the first time I actually thought Zac Efron was a great, good actor. Really? 
Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Zac Efron is not a good actor. I think he is. No, he is not, friend. Really? <laughs> no, friend. What have you seen? Man? So I've you seen, seen that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. You mean um, the other bio killer? something? The other yeah, serial yeah, the killer, other the one. lawyer. Right. And he was all right in that. Okay. Um, I haven't seen him in much other films. I saw him in a really a movie that really isn't that good, but he was good in. It's like the beer one with him and Russell Crowe. It's like an Apple movie. I haven't seen that one. Oh, I know you're talking movie. about yeah, that beer one movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, but he's look. He come along. He's came a long he's way. He's come a long way. He's she struck out plenty of times, <laughs> but he's got it. He got it right, and I hope he capitalizes. I mean, on I, this. I saw he this found dude a as, sweet spot. I was about to say, I saw this dude as a novelty cal- uh, comedy actor. Up Absolutely, Absolutely. watching shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that um, would be his wheelhouse. So to cut to the chase, my favorite story of last year is Iron Claw, and it's yeah. only just because of like I related too much to the story at yeah. that point, and it's also like. Damn, like this. Uh, well, first of all, this movie was kind of made for me in a way. It's set in Texas, yeah. and Texas Hoss energy is all over this movie. In the eight, 70s and 80s, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's about wrestling. That's also yeah, like, wrestling. oh, yeah, this is for you. But it's also not about any of that shit. The, the actual internal struggle is just like, I'm a man just trying to figure out how to be a man, <laughs> knowing that my dad is wrong. Trying to figure out how to be my own man. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jordan, what's your favorite story of last year? I had a thing on this quite a bit because it was two, but I'm going to go with poor things. Okay. I like that story quite a bit. I just like the experience through, I don't know, just the maturity of it. It felt like I was watching, if you ever seen Black Swan, uh-huh. it's similar to that aspect. Like she's a child, but she eventually grows up. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this with here as well too. Even though she has a child like mine, she's experiencing everything through a child like mine. But eventually, she grows up and sees the world for what it is. I actually really like this film. I, I didn't expect to like it because I don't. I'm not too much of a big fan of those artsy ass films. But mm, this is this one. This is one, one is one of them, <laughs> yeah, and well, it's actually a good film. Because my ones. my second one was actually American Fiction was going to be my That's favorite a good story. One. That's a solid. One. But I actually like poor things. Yeah, I'm going to go a completely different way. Roots? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. Boy? No. Boy. Never. <laughs> never. Uh, no, my, it, again, this is like, look, no secret that this is my favorite movie of the year. They clone Tyrone. That's I thought fair. that was clever That's a good as one. fuck, man. I thought just everything, the, the way they played on stereotypes, like the science fiction aspect of it, like the hood movie, you know how I feel about hood movies. That's all black exploitation. Yeah. So it's just like it just holds a place, and they fuse all like it's like like I said that movie is almost like it was made for me. Like they fuse all this shit in such a clever fucking way, and I don't know like the the writer director of it. I'm like I can't wait for whatever the fuck else he does. Absolutely, I love that feeling. Yeah. When you don't know anything about this director, you're like, I like this like, film. Damn, I'm ready man. for the next one. Like old boy who did uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Right. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is, thing is he coming out with next? And I haven't seen shit. Shaka King, like, I haven't seen anything. You know what's crazy? The dude who made 12 Years a Slave. Uh, McQueen, oh, uh, Steve, Steve McQueen. McQueen. Yeah. He hasn't made Holy it. shit, you are right. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, I didn't even think I, it. I Motherfucker a, won an Oscar. I, he, I won, he won an Oscar. I watched 12 Years a Slave again, and I just looked Why? up and I said... <laughs> <laughs> I just like that story, but it's, I know it's a phenomenal. But I, story. I try to look up to see what he did next. And it's like he didn't do anything That's after crazy that. Crazy to me. Yeah, like and these are two black directors that hit the high point, right? And they have I don't. Damn, I look got at high. IMDb. I don't see shit that they got slated. I don't get it, but like it's same thing. But yet Boots Riley makes shit. Anywho, <laughs> I like Boots Riley. Boots Riley gets a, a project every show. two years. Yeah. Boots yeah. Riley, yeah. Boots Riley, Riley too. Uh, I'm a Virgo. Um, what's the horse movie? Don't oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, sorry to bother you. Bother. Okay, yeah. that's the that's guy. Bruce yeah, that Riley. Was, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And like, like he's been around, but it's like I'm seeing a lot of black directors do big shit, and you don't see them do anything else. And, and they, I don't know what's up with this. That, also but. brings up why I'm like sorry that. Ari Aster gets so much that money. That kind of <laughs> shit. You are right, man. This is like, what? A24. Look, as much as we give A24 credit for shit, how many black stories have they done? I haven't seen them do any. Uh, they did maybe what? Maybe one? Maybe Didn't one. Didn't they give I don't, I don't think that Jordan Peele his first movie no. or two? No. no. It was all Universal. Yeah. Oh, damn. Blumhouse and Universal did that for him. Like, A24, you need to get on your shit. 
because uh, yeah, you have no black stories, and that is a little well, jarring there, to me. There is one black story. It wasn't last year, but it Boy. came out this year. It's uh, Mia Copa. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we don't well, talk about him on this show. He is not a director. He is shit. And know, he is a detriment to us. I'm, I'm, you know glad, I'm glad the hate has been activated because it's yes, good I'm for sorry. our next award. <laughs> okay, great. I was going to say, I, 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 I watched that movie, by the way. Uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so I have a special award, and this is something that Fuck. me and my me and my friend Edward have come up with. Fuck Tyler Perry. And it's okay. uh, it's the Jennifer Lawrence Award, Jennifer Lawrence and X Men Award, where it's just like I dug Jennifer Lawrence in the first couple X Men movies, but there is literally did. the last <laughs> yeah the last one. She's like, no, I don't turn blue because uh, I don't want to get in makeup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. oh, and I'm literally just here to read my lines as plainly as I can, and it's it's basically the I don't give a fuck award. It is, it is. and I have a Ooh. great one for that one. I have a great I'll one. I'll let you for... go. I'll, y'all okay. go. I... Mine is that, but to me, it was a benefit, not a detriment to the actress that played this role. Well, mine is definitely a detriment, real quick. Okay, and no, it's mine... uh, Sneakwa okay. Williams Willis in White Men Can't Jump. <laughs> it's the black dude and white men can't jump oh and I'm just God. like this dude look, literally walked on stage said his lines and walked and out walk the fuck <laughs> no, look what do I have what's the minimal I have to do to get my check that's what he did that's precisely Whoa. what that movie is so bad because I mean it's like what can you do with Jack Harlow not much and, it's like and Jack Harlow is trying his best to be charmed it's damnedest it ain't working but he's it's not working but he's trying he is and old boy is like this isn't working and he just goes through his line goes through the motions moves over <laughs> like, I don't think I God have. I forgot about that goddamn movie it's so bad it was a show right no it was, it was a, a movie, movie. Oh, I thought it was a show. Hulu. It was a Hulu yeah, original. I know it was Hulu. Yeah, yeah. But I know. I didn't see it either. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> doing that. I'm not giving You know, you crap. talk about these, and I'm like, I'm writing it down on that I'm list. That <laughs> Mine is uh, Brie Larson in the Marvels. She did not care. Like, you could tell she, but she didn't, but she it was She like, hasn't emoted since no. the original Marvel. You know what she did in this? When she's like, I'm going to be Brie Larson here. Because Brie Larson's more likable than Captain Marvel. And that's what she tried to do. And, like, if you notice her in, in the Marvels compared to Captain Marvel, she's a lot more chill and just, like, a lot less of that smarmy kind of shit. And she's just kind of there. And it, I'm like, you know what? You doing the least works, actually. It really does. <laughs> like, it works. Like, because I don't like Captain Marvel as a character in general. Not, many, not a lot of comic book fans do. She's a terrible character. And so Brie Larson just being – and Brie Larson, she literally said, like, I know people hate this fucking character. And she's like, I'm just going to do my shit and just fuck it. So I give her that. <laughs> Dakota Johnson, Madam Webb, no, no, that was no, this no, year. No, no. That's this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, year. that was mine. If, yeah, that, that was if this, mine. Award, this award show comes around next year, Matter she fact, will be number one on that list. Now watch this, Jordan. Matter of fact, can we rename this award into the Dakota Johnson <laughs> Madam <laughs> Webb Award? I mean, Why? I actually, when I Wouldn't called this. would that make the show worse? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, when... <laughs> When I call this the Jennifer Lawrence and uh, X Men Apocalypse Award, yeah, um, this is very dated reference. Dark this Phoenix. fucking yeah, Dark Phoenix, yeah, in Dark Phoenix, it's a very dated reference at this fucking time. So it does need an update. Yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect update for it. Yeah, but like no, no, like that was the best, the best reference you could have because I've never seen someone give less of a fuck before Dakota Johnson than Jennifer Lawrence. Like those two are equal in that. Yeah, I asked this question. I want to take a small portion of the show. Small. I asked a person, my friend, who's also a big comic book person. I said, "Do the actor who's play, actor or actress that is playing the character, do they need to know about the character that they're playing?" I would like them to. Uh, I've heard several directors be like, "Don't read the comics; it's just going to ruin my vision," yeah. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I've heard the opposite: like, read the comics to get as much better. As you can, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think overall depends on the vision yeah. in a kind of way um i don't think there's any way the original super mario brothers could have worked the one with john leguizamo oh, but that's that definitely yeah but that's definitely one of those that is just like don't don't play the video games it won't help you no that has no connection really yeah, yeah. compared fair. to like the animated one where it's like yeah, i want to play the video games immediately yeah mm-hmm. well on to our next award it's gonna go faster without martin arguing <laughs> all the time 
Well, the Waste of Time it. Award. This is just kind of like, so it's a different kind of award. Because mm-hmm. there's worse movies. Where it's just, I, I don't know. This is just my personal opinion. You can give it to however you want. Right. But there's a difference between like, this movie was so bad that I'm angered that yeah. it was so bad. And there's just like, I just wasted my time. There was nothing beneficial. Like, I got nothing from right. this time. And it's another Hulu movie, well, unfortunately <laughs> for me. And it's the fucking Quiz Lady for me. You really don't like that movie. Okay. I really I, don't I like that you, movie. I know what movie you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and you like Aquafina, which is crazy. I do like Aquafina because I, I my first um, interaction with Aquafina, without because apparently she's been in the background of a whole bunch of shit before, yeah. was the Aquafina in Queens, and I was just like, well, the grandma is very charming. Great. The so it was great. Like the supporting cast of that show is great, and it's thirty minutes. It gets you in and out. It has a story. Like yeah, she works there. And then everything else that carried her after that, uh, I'm okay with. I'm okay with her being the dragon in that fucking Disney movie. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with the uh, uh, Shang Chi. Shang Chi, like a, yeah, the bow and arrow in a day. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Archer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that kind of shit. Like, I, I, it's just a matter of, like, at a certain point, everything that I like Aquafina for, it's just like, she's a very brash, funny person. And it's just like, you cast her as being the awkward, not funny person. Yeah, the straight person in this? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, like, yeah and you no, cast the person that. from Grey's Same Anatomy oh, yeah. to be the straight It should have been reversed. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely should have been reversed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything past that doesn't work. Nothing, nothing. Man, that movie was very disappointing to me, too. <laughs> I, I love Sandra it. Oh. Like, and just, I'm not a big Aquafina fan, but it was like, Sandra O's in it. Wait, so so I, I, I will say I do like Aquafina in The Farewell. That was actually The Farewell really is film. amazing. And I told you, yeah, that was the one I was yeah. mentioning. Yeah, The Farewell is great. Like, that's just a great movie all around. <laughs> but a uh, waste of time. I'm going to start with a scene. I'm actually going to do a scene or mm-hmm. actually a part, story. Mm-hmm. I wanted to say it while he was here, but I didn't want to be disrespectful. But that whole scene with the in Gar- Guardians of the Galaxy, that whole scene with the, the, the raccoon what was, what was his name Rocket Rocket, Rocket. I don't really care for that storyline I didn't like that movie I, just, I thought it was a waste of time I dislike that movie greatly I get why it plays on your heartstrings but I also get that it was just like this mo- uh, I, and we had overall like even when Mike was here it yeah. was just like that movie kind of tried too hard in my opinion and no, and not, no it's like look man we it's such an easy thing. You can make people cry. You can make them sad. How, what's the easiest way to do that? Uh, do some what a horrible thing to kids. Do like a fucking my girls type situation. Where precious, like, precious. Like make some overly <laughs> depressing shit. Or hey, what's a quicker way? We have PG thirteen, so we can't do the precious thing. What can we do, Joy? Animals. Yeah. Just fuck animal, lovable, cute animals up, and kill them. Let's do that. Easy peasy. Like to me, that that shit was just so fucking emotionally manipulative, and it makes me angrier now than it did even back then <laughs> it made me disrespect james gunn like i like james gunn and like i'm very leery on this whole so, dc thing now because i, of I don't movie. i don't actually i'm actually on the opposite thread okay because i feel like there's a lot of times in the script for um guardians 3 where mm-hmm. he was just kind of like and then he dies and then he dies and then disney was like you, you know, should have killed chris pratt Kill Star Lord. Well, they they literally write it doesn't make sense yeah for he wrote him he was dead you leave him dead. Yes. Leave him fucking dead. It doesn't make sense for Chris Pratt Kill to Gamora be floating again. in space. Yeah. And then he gets saved by Adam. Dude, I'm just like, I don't want to see Chris Pratt anymore. So and I'm I, fine. I, 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 I'm I don't, perfectly I don't fine get the weight of the scene yeah. where they fucking kill Batista in the jail. Where oh. Nathan Fillion kills him in the jail. Everybody dies at a point. Yeah, I'm saying like yeah. everyone died at a point and, and then, then Disney dies. was like, no, you can't. Uh, it's like, well, none of these people are coming back. That's okay. Can't kill them. We'll kill these I fucking animals. I hated the ending. These to- cute, adorable fucking animals instead. Let's do that. Fuck. I hated Disney. the ending to the- Disney, man. <laughs> I really fucking hate Disney. Like, they really made me dislike them. I was planning on us watching Bluey. You don't want to watch Bluey Bluey can me? suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Bluey. I was, I was going to say it like... Just before, <laughs> before. I don't fucking care. We got what well, we got uh, Christine. Christina's the only parent we got here. Yeah, I think. she's gonna fucking cut her funny. Cause... No, she loves us. I will say, I wait, will wait, say, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I, I, no, 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 I was just gonna say, like, um, I hated the resolution yeah. to Guardians 3, where it was just kind of like, <laughs> a waste of time. Uh, Batista 
the, you're a parent ways. and uh you should stay chill here out. parents yeah parent yeah just chill out and be a parent and i'm like all right i hate this a lot <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you marcos because yeah now me to me i really i really fucking dislike that movie almost as much as i dislike the movie i'm gonna pick for this i week. completely forgot the ant man 3 came out <laughs> Man. That was mine. <laughs> there you let I know, me right I know, I'm sorry. I just forgot that that movie came out last of year. Like, you did. And Rebel Moon came oh, out last year. Yeah, Rebel Moon came. Yeah. Moon oh my god. I mean, I, mine was Quiz Lady. That's a Hulu original. Yeah. So I mean, you True. can count Rebel. I Moon. guess yeah, you could totally count a, a Star Wars knockoff. You said oh, so Ant Man was your. Ant Man's my waste of time. I agree. Yeah, that shit was a big ass waste of time. And you wasted to be made. You, and you wasted two great actors' time. Who? Michelle Pfeiffer and, and Michael Douglas. And Michael Douglas. You really did. You really and Bill Murray was in it. You yeah. went for the Bill Murray cameo. Ew. Zombie Land didn't. They made the most out of it. You did not. <laughs> God, you are useless, Disney. Can you do anything right? Ew. Anything right. Oh, they came cl- anymore. Well, no, that's, that's Paramount. Sorry. I was about to say, oh, but they did Good Burger well. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> let me tell you something, Jordan. Good Burger 2 is better than anything Disney did in the past fucking year. <laughs> This is a bad year for Disney. God, Disney sucks. They just suck. Sorry, sorry, Sammy. I know he loves Disney, but like, no, Disney's trash. Get on your shit. I don't know if I will call them trash. Oh, I'll would. just say Absolutely. like 20... 20- what, what was good that they did this year? Name one good movie I don't movie know if they did. did anything good last the Mandalorian, year. Mandalorian, maybe? The no, that's a show. That's a show. Hold on. You said bet. What's the best studio to you then? Right now? Right now. A24, easily. A24, 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 A24 yeah. wins by a country mile. By a big time mile. They make $3. Okay, oh, we can go bigger budget. No, a twenty four would also Paramount on a, on a different note. Yeah. While, while Disney is over there yeah. abusing their workers, a twenty four was like, "Oh, you, this is what you want." Yeah. Oh no, I got <laughs> Universal. Universal fucking killed it this year. I fuck with Universal. Disney, you can. Oh fuck, you suck, Disney. I hope you rot in the worst parts of hell. Go ahead. Well, we're, <laughs> we're on. Wish t- was trash. Serenity said, "Wish, wish, wish is so bad. That's one of the worst like animated Disney movies from what I heard. I'm not gonna watch. From it. what I heard, from that's the problem. Heard. But but no, I don't know. Uh, I know Disney hardcore Disney people who will praise everything. Well, and even they were like, no, that's not good. We're on to our major awards. All right, as, as, is the best way that I can put it. Um, yes, awards that are like, this is what matters. I will say. Um, the Oscars divide this into supporting actors and mm. actresses versus best actor and actress. Wouldn't I don't think that, I don't think <laughs> that won't matter for no. the next two awards. Who's the best? It's just who gave the best. Who oh, gave the, the best? I'm and um, I think I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm gonna be a feminist and put actor first before actress. Okay. And uh, mine's very easy. It's Kevin Von Erich, Zac Efron, mm-hmm. and it's just because. I don't know what he did, or I don't know what he studied, but as uh, a person that's lost a lot of people through suicide, I'm like, he fucking mastered that look of like, I'm okay, but I'm not okay because I'm dealing with all the weight, but my dad said I can't cry kind of thing. And it's just like, that was such a subtle performance that I'm just like, I don't- I'm he didn't get nominated for that because he really should have. I feel, for lack of a better way, like I said, people were just like, oh, it's a wrestling movie, so yeah. they got what they deserved. I mean, even That's way really back... That's stupid thing to say. Wait, re- is, because it's a wrestling movie, it shouldn't have been nominated? Because people look down on wrestling in the same way they look but down on comedy. I can make and I, and, I, and I, yeah. it goes back to Mickey Rourke and the wrestler not getting the award. He, he I thought he did. That. I thought he won an Oscar. No, for he didn't wrestling. win. He should have. No, he got nominated and he was lost. A, that was his best. And he never, like, that was it. He, he left never, it all right there. Uh, I thought he did. Huh? He did not. He, he, he didn't win. He got nominated, but he, he didn't, didn't win. Man, it was, it was one of those, like, oh, yeah, that was a rob. But they, I can, they rob. look down on those kind of act Because I, I. I know this wasn't. This isn't a popular idea. Also, the other way, I think Stallone should have got it in Creed. Man, I did too. I was wildly wasn't, upset about didn't that. Didn't he win some awards, but the Oscar he, he did won. Win. Everyone but the Oscar. That's everyone similar to uh, Oscar, yeah. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, same thing. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Same. Thing. But Eddie I can Murphy make deserved it too. He won. He, he should have won for Dreamgirls. Yep, to me, he but um, Alan Arkin won. That same ar- argument can be made about horror movies. They look down upon that as well too. And there's there's been like a good, like for example. Us should have been nominated for not us. No. Um, Get out should have been nominated for best picture. Sure, but, but he won best. He won the Oscar for screenplay. But I think that one of the actresses that should have won 
was um, Tony Collette for Hereditary. Yep, I agree with she that. She played too. a fuck that dinner table scene. Is like she, I'm your mother. Dude, don't she, talk to me. That was a great she scene. But I think that yeah. I think that horror movies just get looked down upon. So, Wrestling films. No, you're, you're completely right about it. No, actually, it has actually to be I the think Exorcist or something that truly like like a get out that just. Well, I don't even think Exorcist was nominated for it shit. It wasn't. You right. It was not. People look at it as if it was, but like no, it wasn't. Yeah, it gets looked down upon. Mm-hmm. It sucks. But I, but I do think that Zac Efron's performance throughout the entire movie of just like I'm gonna hold it together. I'm gonna hold it together, and literally. The climax of the movie is his brother being like, I'm going to kill myself. Mm. And he's just like, no, like, just go home. Just go talk to mom. Go, do anything. Like, and I was just like, dude, he's trying to hold it together. And he literally, like, after that call, calls his dad. And he was just like, hey, like, uh, my brother's not doing well. And he's just like, he's a man. He'll be fine. And, like, that's that whole movie and I was just like this is literally carried by Zach. Ef- this whole movie is carried by it Zach is, Efron it truly is and he's doing his best and I I mean I, I feel bad that I think like, he succeeded he was That's the best I've seen him now if he reverts back to that bullshit like he did with Baywatch I'm done with this dude <laughs> I don't think he is he hated Baywatch I know he did he had yeah. to get the shape he had to get into yeah, he's for like, that. I don't want to do that shit again like no this is his wheelhouse like he needs to like these, yeah, the, the hyper masculine guy who, you know, has to let emotion in. That's your wheelhouse, man. You need to operate in there. Yeah. And yeah. Big time. Cause. Well, there, there's a, and I, I don't mean to gush, but this is the only time I can. Because uh, we didn't get a review of Iron Claw because a right. lot of people were like, oh, it's not that great. And then when I saw it, I was like, mm, this is pretty fucking Dude, great. Dude, I loved it. I, I was like, man, why did people, they did, actually, I guess. You know, yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly, I, the comments that I've seen, they actually really like Iron Claw. They were actually disappointed it wasn't nominated. So, well, well, there's a there's a scene where all his brothers are injured or sick or some other thing. Like they they're it's in the middle of the movie. Mm-hmm. Like, and um, it's it's actually MJF playing his cousin or some stuff, and he's just in the corner. Like I'm lost and I'm confused. I'm fucking directionless. Like everything about his performance just to being like obviously he's an actor knows his fucking lines but there's a there's a scene that i've literally seen memed on tiktok where he's just like bit a bit like he just fucks up his lines and he's doing it on purpose because he's playing an awkward dude and his brother he's not as charismatic as his brother who can read his lines and i was just kind of like i really love this movie i love zach efron's yeah. performance like it shows everything in and out about how hollow he would or how where he sucks and where he was good where that character was good at. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Any of the Oscar noms have Fantastic come up. Four. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not hyped. But yeah. <laughs> well, it's up to you, uh, up to you guys. So, uh, best actor. Yeah. Best actor to me has now was Jeffrey Wright. I like. It. I like yeah. Jeffrey Wright. I think Jeffrey Wright to me. Is one of those underrated actors. First of all, I didn't even know he was. I didn't know he was black. I thought the man was Puerto Rican from Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that for the longest time. For the longest time, but, uh, the longest time I yeah, did. I I thought he was absolutely amazing in American Fiction. Uh, but yeah, I, I think he was the best in that film. It was tough though. Yeah, like, for for best actor. Yeah, for yeah. me, for me, it's easy. It's again a movie I feel a weird way about. But Oppenheimer, I think, fucking. Robert Downey Jr. was fucking great, man. Yeah. Like, he really was. And it's just like, I hadn't seen that Robert Downey Jr. since Chaplin. Like, that's that. That's, <laughs> like, he did great in that movie. Yeah. And it's just like, that was, uh, that's the last time I saw him in that kind of mode, really. And you see it here, and it's like, oh, no, this dude's an actor. Like, he ain't a movie star. This, this is a fucking actor. Like, this is his profession, and this, he's, this is what he's really good at. And he showed it, and it's just like, man, I, I, I love that. To me, like, him doing what he did in Oppenheim is like, I'm like, God, I wish Tom Cruise would do this again. <laughs> I really do. Because Tom Cruise in Magnolia, to me, was one of the best performances I'd ever seen. I, I've heard so many stories about Tom Cruise being like an alien that he's just like sitting on the couch, and it's just like, this is what I will be today. <laughs> and he's actually really good at it. Whatever like, his method is, like Magnolia, he was great. And it's just like, where the fuck did this well, dude Well, a lot go? of people bring up Tropic Thunder, which just Tropic like, Thunder, hey, he was it, great. It, yeah. yeah. It's like, you're going to be an asshole like, today. Like, you're out of your range with these movies, but you're killing it in both of them. And it's just like, oh, you just want to do Mission Impossible. Possible. Okay, cool. I guess. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> um, I will give an honorable mention if you guys want to. You can because I, I like Jordan was conflicted. Tail Yo. Uh, once again, past lives. Yes. That is like, dude. I, I I don't know many movies where it's just like you don't get the girl, but it's literally this whole movie is about like. 
this is what makes her happy, so I'm going to hand her off to the person that makes, <laughs> makes her, her ha- happy. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like it's heartbreaking as fuck. It's heartbreaking it as really fuck, is, and yeah. I'm just like, I don't know many movies about this kind of thing, or many people that that it's just like he literally is just like this is the resolution to this plot. I don't, I don't get the person that our past lives were meant to connect with each other, mm-hmm. and now I'm going to cry on the subway home, and I was just like. That was great. God, it sticks, man. That shit, yeah. that, that sticks so yeah. much. No, yeah. Notice that all the cancers are in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional as fuck. Are you a cancer too? Yeah. God damn. His yeah, birthday is like three cancers. days after. You're what? 20. 20th? Yeah. 21st. 20th also. Yeah. 21st. 21st? Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the cancers God are damn, yeah. We wear our emotions on our sleeve. We should do. Yeah. Well, if you guys got any honorable mentions enough, we're going to move to actress. Oh, fuck. I don't think I have one. I don't. It was one I had and I just, I lost it. Um, What's his name? The 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 father of Poor Things. Oh, well, um, well, Jack the, William Defoe. Uh, yeah. yeah, I actually liked him. He's always he was good. awesome. No, no, oh no, 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 not him. Sorry, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, again, <laughs> that actor that's always good. Yeah, <laughs> you, you cunt. <laughs> he's, he's so he was great. Uh, he was great. He was and then we so get to the great. prison scene and they're, uh, and they're I, fighting. I, I, and they're just hitting each other like this. I'm like, what is this? I, I can't give this actress to Emma Stone for just being over dramatic at baby because that's what she's supposed to play. Right. I get that. I get that. But it's just this year was crowded. But I'm just like her sitting on the bed learning about poverty, crying, and. Mark Mark Ruffalo was like, "You gave my money away." Right. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> that was the funniest I've seen him, man. It's just like, no, I it's, love it's him the, so much. The, the funny part of the, about that whole movie <laughs> is when she goes into the whorehouse. Have sex and come back. Say I have money. No, 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 no. She goes to the whorehouse and then she pulls out like the money, say the money that her uh, father gave her. He's like, "You had this the whole time." He's like, "Give me this," and he's like, walks away and then comes back looking like a bum, throwing rocks at a fucking window. I just said that dude, if he doesn't win it. He deserves every bit of praise because he was fucking hilarious in that film the whole he was time. Great man, he God. was the best I've seen him in a like in a while. Like. You know what? Go real quick. Going back to the worst scene, what was the purpose of that elderly woman and that black dude in that film? I still don't know. Oh, it's like to it, show poverty. Yeah, I get it. I, I, no, no, yeah, no. It like, was it was to show because um, she's the person that molded her to be more open minded right, to right, right, I got feminist it. Yeah, ideas. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you get it, then it's not. But too, it just feel like a waste of time to me. No, I still didn't understand the full context. I didn't think it was a waste of time, but I also, like, no, I kind of, like, you could have cut it. It helped build character, <laughs> but, like, it helped build character, but what the was character it? Who yeah, else like, is going to give her the enlightenment know, ideas that she got? But, like, the lady of the whorehouse. It could have been a variety. Of yeah, characters. that lady kept biting her. It was a that, different kind of. It was one of those things they could have handed that off to another character, and it would have been fine. But, like, I, I get it. I kind of get what he's coming from. I, I didn't know. I just feel like that part yeah. was just. Uh, okay, yeah, it's sure. a little. It's I, I actually it thought it was. A little bit, I thought yeah. it was hilarious when <laughs> Mark Ruffalo was like, "I'm gonna kill that bitch," <laughs> and, and then Emma Stone's like, "I dare you." <laughs> <laughs> right, she was happy about it, and when he running out, she's running out behind him, skipping and shit. I'm like, "Who are these people right it's now?" It's such a crazy, just bizarre movie in the best. <laughs> but way. I mean, am, am, am I completely? I know Martin isn't here to disagree with me, yeah. but am I completely wrong by comparing like the whole Barbie movie is like I'm a plastic doll that came to life and. And I'm in the real world. Look, the Am I completely I it, wrong by comparing that to poor things? The way you should say it, <laughs> you're not. But the way you should, I get what you're saying, but like the way you say it is, uh, when your daughter is 11, show her Barbie. When she turns 17, 18, show her poor things. You know, that's the TikTok. It's it's, it's a double feature that you need time in between. Yeah, you know, if you're not of age. But like, if you're an adult woman, watch Barbie, then watch Poor Things. You know, and. You will get a complete feel of maybe I should just go go back and watch Barbie again because I was like, okay, I'm sure. Well, uh, the Bar- Barbie, Barbie no, is right. Like it's more like it's a movie that if you see the more I've seen it three times, and the more you see it, it's like it's flaws in it, and it's just like, but it, it's always entertaining. 
it's always a, a beautiful movie to look at. Like the production design to me is one of the best. But not I've not to be seen. too over the top. Part, poor things ends with like the, here's this person that's learned how to be a woman, mm -hmm. molded by the old lady nice. and her ideals, right. uh, molded by working at a whorehouse, and it's just like I I'm empowered woman. Yeah. And then it's just like the resolution to the plot is like here's a super masculine general that has made his entire life conquering people and she's like yeah i'm not land and you're a goat man now <laughs> like <laughs> that was literally like you yeah <laughs> and i'm like isn't that like ken is because uh, compared to barbie it's yeah. like ken is just like no you're right barbie um i i'm wrong <laughs> like yeah it's like a light version almost. yeah you know yeah yeah it's like a, we have to usher you into this level of kind of feminism and this is okay. the stepping stone to that kind of okay. in a way yeah yeah, yeah. because like like no like the thing about barbie is my girl brought things up it, to me from barbie that i didn't see mm. and yeah she's like no i liked it but like it's kind of a contradiction of itself and i'm like huh and she's like yeah like well they use their sexuality to manipulate the kings but they're supposed to be you know more mm. than that and like she did all of this, she did a real she good did a lot out. just to be here and to go through actually patriarchy because she's here, like she's not there. She's not fixing Barbie Land. She left Barbie Land to come here and be part of the patriarchy and be part of the system. So what did she but really in, do? But in, in Bar but in Barbie Land, the patriarchy is she the likes other the way. movie though. Yeah. But she's just like these are things that for her she caught and she was just like ah mm. that's that's I can't fully. I give it a B. Like I can't fully give it a but, A. But it's so convoluted things. in its own themes it and is. stories it, because and it's I didn't just, realize until she kind of brought that up and like, no, you're right. Yeah, it is a little because in Barbie Land, the men are treated like the lower class. Yeah. Uh, so it, it makes sense that they had a revolution to a sense. Yeah. Uh, it just sucks that their monarch the was the Ken. Way. Yeah, yes. and Ken is just very much like I got red pilled, but I realize I'm wrong to get red pilled, and now I'm peacing out. Yeah. That's what I mean, where I'm just like, this story is just more subtle, right. and it's not bad. It's just, there were so many better feminist movies this year, in a way. And I know that's weird to say, because we're three men on a podcast. <laughs> but um, did you see uh, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. That was my favorite, Dude, one of my I was, favorite. I wanted to, I forgot about that one. That movie is great, man. It true, because I, look, we read the book when we were kids. Yeah. And it was one of those where I, I had gotten it from the library. I think it was in like the sixth grade. And I remember like my teacher was like, oh, I don't think this is for you. I was like, well, no, I like, uh, well, Judy, didn't Judy Bloom? Like yeah. That? Yeah. And I was like, no, I like Judy. I love fudge. I love, you know, I want to read all this <laughs> stuff. And they're like, ah, this isn't really. And, and I read it and I liked the book. And it taught me a lot, actually. And yeah. And no, and I'm like, I think more young boys should probably read this book. Like, because that book helped me when I grew up. To like, kind of see what you know girls and women go through, and so seeing that that movie hit every single note of that book, and I have not seen a movie adapted to film do it like that. But it's also like it's a book set in the sixties and the seventies, and they stick to the six, the seventies, and they stick to the seventies. I believe. Yeah. I think, yes, no, no, they the do, and they do. Yeah. But it's also kind of one of those things. Like, so it sits to that time frame, mm -hmm. and then it's just like in that thing in that time frame. Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I, I didn't read updated the book. They it. They didn't. But it's just like, oh, we're a Jewish family, but we're not religious. Mm -hmm. We're, I, and, and it's just like. That movie is carried by the mom so much. Yeah, Rachel she, Adam, that's one of her best fucking performances. She got no credit for that. And it's just fucking buried. Yeah. Like, and, it, it and I hate it. Absolutely buried, man. And like that movie has like 99% on right. Like it is a great movie. It's a fucking amazing both, movie. Uh, both critics and audience. Like it is great. If you see it, I guarantee you, you will like it. All right. I'll see it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but no, you will. It, I it, guarantee you. No, no, no yeah. It's like, literally it's a movie. undeniable. It, like it's just it's good. Literally a, it is just it's good. literally a movie about a teenage girl getting her period for the first for the time. First that's time. all it is. That's it. Mm. That is it. And it just, it captures it. This, that family, it captures that that child, you know, like not knowing what the fuck is happening. It captures it in such a perfect fucking way. And it just, the fact that movie did not get as much credit as it deserved. It's, it's just because it came out in April. It's man, really it's just kind of the climate we're in. It's kind of similar to the Blackberry thing. Yeah. It's like, we like, like, that was another example of, like I was saying, like, yeah, well, we air have didn't those, even get anything either. Air yeah. Goes in that category too. Like, we almost have two sections now of moves that will get nominated that are great. Movies that won't get nominated that are great. And it's getting more and more, you know, those those fields are getting more and more equal. 
as we go on. It's crazy. I mean, if you were to look at Air as a movie cast, and it's just like, hey, man, we got a movie where <laughs> Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and yeah, Viola Davis. Like after years, yeah. Yeah, and Viola Davis are all Hey, let's in. throw Chris Tucker in there <laughs> for good measure. <laughs> Like, come, the cast is crazy. Yeah. And hell, they didn't get nominated for, like, Best Ensemble. And that's, you know, it's, a, it's like I said, it's tiers of movies that are great that will not get nominated for shit. Your boy ben Slaughter uh, disagrees with us, movie. doesn't like Air. I thought Air was like, I I didn't want to see a movie about shit. Like, in no. the sense that it's just like, you're not going to sell me on Air Jordans or Blackberries or Touch. Right. And I was wrong on all three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, like, I loved it, man. I absolutely loved Air. Like, it was so many good movies. This was a hard-ass choice. But it was a lot of good movies this year. And yeah, Air is one of my favorites. I have This is one of the first times I've had favorites that I forget about. Yeah. Like I said, because it's just it's yeah, so Yeah, like I said, now. Megan feels like two years that ago. That shit feels like two years ago. Mario, I thought, was uh, two years. Like, I didn't know that Wait, was Megan came year. out, what, last year? January. Oh, yeah. yeah. January of uh, That's a stupid-ass movie. <laughs> Well, she dances, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> on the note of a woman named Megan, uh, a robot named Megan, um, best actress. Oh, hands down, Emma Stone. Yeah, I was gonna go there too. Yeah, I. I no, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. I take that back. I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to skip. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I mean, no. um, well, mine's Davina Joy, yep. Mary, Mary. Wait, what? <laughs> Holdovers. Yep, that's mine. Yeah, Divi- yeah, she, she was mine. Yeah. I had to watch that. Yeah, no, she, she, man, she is great. She's fucking great. Like, it's a thing to what? Because she kind of came out of nowhere. I didn't think she would get well, nominated. Well, it's a very fucking stuff. subtle performance. It's so subtle. And it's one of those things, like, it's one of those performances, like, after the fact. It's, you think about it. Like, after the movie's done, you're like, that was a good movie. Does she, have a, she was good. Does she have a big role in that? Like, yeah. she has a Well, three, in, in, really in Oscar three, nominations, yeah. she's nominated for Best Supporting, supporting yeah. Actress. It should be lead, right? Because she's the only other woman. She's the only other woman. Yeah. 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 Just her and Paul Giamatti and the kid. So, like, it's only three of them for the majority of the movie. Mm. So, it should have been lead actress, I think, but whatever. Well. That's not, no, that's not up to me, but I will say that this movie was just kind of like, it's a woman, just like, I'm here, I have to fuck. Uh, I mean, the whole movie is just Paul Giamatti has to work on fucking Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Yeah, uh, because nobody's going to pick over this. Co- the, the, the movie literally starts with the symbolism of, like, a kid complaining, oh, I, I, I lost one of my gloves, and it's just like, oh, that's a holdover. Like, mm. it, you, don't worry about it. Okay. And then from there, it just yeah. keeps steamrolling into the themes and everything. It's the per- it's, There's so many perfect movies last year, honestly, yeah. that it's it, just like we man. carried all the themes, and it, that was what made this so hard, that it's just like there's Oscar movies that mm-hmm. are just like everything was sealed perfectly, like um, Iron Claw that didn't get nominated, Holdovers, yeah. Godzilla minus one. There's not one. You can't leave to take a piss during no, that movie. You can't leave. Uh, TMNT. You uh, honestly, no. nothing is left on the on the table. Not a thing. Everything. I took two piss breaks during Oppenheimer. Two, <laughs> and didn't miss shit. So, like, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> you know. Well, I'm just. I, I just feel like there's movies other than all those other things. Like we're not gonna. We don't actually have an award for worst picture. We can get into that in a second if you want. <laughs> but I. I do feel like most overrated picture was for me. Killers of the Flower I Moon. I can agree with that. To me, like it. Look, I love Martin Scorsese. Like he's almost a perpetual at the very least B minus for me, no matter what he does. Because I mean, it's Martin Scorsese. You know what you're gonna get from him. It's gonna be quality and. Killers of the Flower Moon, same thing. It was too long. I didn't feel the same way about it. I felt with the Irishman. For whatever reason, the Irish I love Joe Pesci, so that probably had a lot to do with it. And but like with this one, it was like it felt long. Like it did feel long. It, it feels long. It feels and very then long. They can't tell the whole story in the whole three hours and thirty minutes. Yeah, and a little bit outside of the movie bias. It, that whole thing of like, I mean, the way he told it to where like he really loved his wife. It's like, well, did he though? Like that kind of shit to where it's like, I mean, I, I get the, the narrative he was trying to make, but then like hearing actual people, you know, uh, that know the actual history, the actual story be like, no, he really didn't. Like it was, this was all just a part of the whole thing. You can't really look at it, that movie without thinking that. And I heard that before I saw it and I could not fully get into it. Like, because I'm so, like, man, it to me. And I know, I'm sorry, I know Kevin Collins is going to run into this shit with Horizon to where it's like, don't do this shit. When it comes to Native Americans, don't touch it. 
Like, unless you're going to do a justice, proper justice, historical, accurate justice, don't fucking touch it. And that's where I'm at now. So that shit, I'm not seeing Horizon. That, that fuck off with that. And Killers of Flat Moon kind of got me that it was like, man, I do respect Martin Scorsese. I love, you know, I love to see Leonardo DiCaprio work. Great cast, a phenomenal cast, great story. And it's just like, but it's not accurate, man. Like, it's just not accurate. Mm. And I couldn't get out of that. So, yeah, that's what held that movie back for me most. I mean, when it, so when you were like, oh, you shouldn't touch this unless you know everything about it. Yeah. Um, I read this report. I don't know how true it is and how <laughs> things go exactly, but it was Martin Scorsese wrote Killers of the Flower Moon, mm-hmm. and he looked at the plot and was like, damn, there's it, this movie is all about cis white men, so I'm going to rewrite the script. And I'm like, I can feel that in this movie, that I could feel like this whole movie was probably about the power struggle yep. between Leo and... Al Pacino. It was supposed to follow the cop. Yeah. Yeah. Originally, it was supposed to just follow the cop. And then the, um, uh, what's the name of the cop that's fucking in Civil War that I'm just like, you can just not help but play in a cop? <laughs> Jesse, uh, Jesse Plemons. Jesse yeah. And I'm just like, you just kind of show up. He just shows up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the shit and it, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, cool. I love Jesse Plemons, but it's just like, man. You just can't not play a cop? Is yeah, that what it is, what Jesse? he does best. <laughs> Hey, he might be crooked. He might not be. That's the that's the kicker. But he's gonna play a cop. <laughs> and it's just kind of one of those things where I'm like, you guys built this up for so long in a way where it's just like, oh, it's about Native American and yeah. all this and, other in stuff. The end, it really wasn't. And like, I just man, it was just like, man, that was a misstep to me with him. And it's just I couldn't get into it. I just couldn't. And I I see all the quality. I see all the technical shit. But I just. That movie, I'll wait for the next Martin Scorsese one because that one just didn't hit for me quite as much as I'd like it to. Well, other than that, uh, did we all cover Best Actress? Are we yep. done, are we done with that? No. Uh-huh. All right. Well, are we at the big one now? The big one, um, Best Picture. Um, so this is where I'm going to go in a little, just a little bit of a soapbox. It won't take too okay. long, but I just do think that movie criticism has become overly critical to a point where everyone just thinks it's cool to hate movies yeah. and it's cool to just follow the herd kind of thing, where it's just like, you don't need to do that. And that's why my favorite film critics, to a point, are just kind of like, this is what I love about movies, and I'm going to be unapologetic about it. Yeah. Uh, so with that being said, there was a lot of great movies. There's a lot of great things. I am of the belief, though, that there is, like, Iron Claw, mm-hmm. favorite story. Yeah, I don't think I can see that movie. No. <laughs> I'll put that one like with 12 Years a Slave. Like, I need to see that once. And that's all I need to see. The fact you saw it twice, respect. <laughs> As a black person, like it's it's a very important movie and very important story, 12 Years a Slave. But like I, I, can, I couldn't see it again. But I'm just saying there's a balance between like this movie was good and yeah. then this movie is... I can rewatch it, and then it'll be one of my favorite movies uh-huh. kind of thing. So for me, it's Sisu, oh, where it's just kind of like, dude, this is just John Wick set in World War II. It's, <laughs> it kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. And I remember seeing the trailer for it, and I was like, this looks really fucking cool. And then I bought it, and I'm just like, yep, nope, this is exactly what the trailer <laughs> told me it was going to be. And I'll, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And that's a good pick. I like that pick, yeah. Okay. Well, Jordan? I'm going to go with American Fiction. Oh. I'm going to stick with that. I loved American I Fiction. I loved American yeah. Fiction, and it just... It's a really good movie. So yeah. there's a, there's I love a, American Fiction. That bait and switch to me is great. The bait and switch of American Fiction is fantastic. So, well, it's about family. I don't know yeah. if Martin was still here, but I yeah. kind of did want to cover on my fav- one of my favorite scenes was actually from American Fiction, mm-hmm. and it's just close to the end of the re- resolution of the plot where... Um, the main character is talking to his brother about like, oh, I'm, I'm fighting with my wife yeah. or my girlfriend right now yeah. because I don't like that she likes the, my garbage book that I wrote. Yeah. And then her brother, his brother just has this random thought where it's just like, I don't think my dad knew that I was gay. And then it's just kind of like, it's kind of sad that we leave these lives and nobody really knows the real us. And it's not my dad's fault. It was my fault. I held myself from him. And it goes into a, into a broader like lecture mm-hmm. that he feels a clinic into where it's just like, we're all hiding ourselves from, because we don't yeah. want, yeah. And then I, I remember the, the last line being like, we deserve to show 
people who we really are so they can love us or not love us yeah. just based on that. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> I like that this movie has three endings as it well. Does. Like, yeah. Clue. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good. Yeah, no, American fiction, man. That to me, that one. Yeah. That was one that kind of came out of, like, came in late. It was like a late edition, and I was like, I saw it, and I was like, yeah, yeah man. I knew it was going to give me a hug when I saw the trailer. It was like, Sharonda, girl, you going to have that baby again? And I was like. <laughs> yeah, no, put the glasses but, on. Put the glasses on. on. But, you know, it, I kept thinking yeah. that. Right. Sharonda, bitch, you going to have that baby? <laughs> <laughs> but in some ways, it I felt. Love it. I love it, Ray, too. It, it felt as if my first initial thought was, America loves ratchetness. We yes. love entertainment. I love that they put that out there. And they put that out there. And yeah. I, I felt like he had to dumb his own self down to make himself appealing to the masses. And yep. I just thought, oh, my God, going to this point about we're not being our authentic self, we're hiding ourselves. Before, no, that hits. You know, that hits. That hits. Because he did that throughout the entire film just to write this old stupid-ass novel. And that, no. And that, it's just an American, it's just like that, it just encompasses the blackness, honestly. The code switching. Like, you know, the... Hey, like if I'm in this group, I might have to act more white. If I'm in this group, I might have to act little little niggerish, you know? Honest to God, no, that's, that's my word. <laughs> I know you got it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like it just like that movie, I think that is a movie every black person I think should see. It's one of those to where it's like it, that that one hits. You'll you'll find it something in there that, that's gonna well, resonate. I can't say that I relate to it as a black person yeah. for obvious reasons, but I do uh, well, it's important for people who aren't black to watch. Yeah, well, like, I, was, I was about to say, like, you can still grab onto the oh, plot as just being a, either a minority well, yeah, or yeah, just a say, uh, you're a minority. So you get it anyway. Well, yeah. I was about to say, even other than that, like, just as a person, that's just kind of like, I feel like I have to pretend to be someone to get across. Because the, so the instant thing that came to mind was like the Dresden Files, where it's just like this dude has been writing uh, higher fiction his entire life, mm -hmm. and none of those books ever got bought. Yeah. So he's like, I'm gonna write trash. the dumbest book ever, and that's literally what it, it, he was like. I'm gonna write a book with wizards and dinosaurs. Dresden and Files is terrible. Like it's, <laughs> it's just it's literally someone throwing everything against the wall. Yeah, and he got printed. He got a show out of it. <laughs> like God damn, man. Like that's it's like no, I, I love that aspect of it too. Of like. Like, no one wants good shit. They want bottom of the barrel, low-hanging fruit type of, you Well, know. That, that that actually could have also made one of my favorite yeah. scenes when uh, his agent grabs a bottle of Johnny Walker Red, Johnny oh, Walker yeah. Blue, <laughs> yeah. and uh, Johnny Walker Black. And he's like, Johnny Walker Red and Johnny Walker Red Black are shit, but people buy them because they're cheap. But the Johnny Walker Blue is the only one that's worth a shit. And then it's just like, you can make blue... And still make red. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Serena. Dresden. Okay. <laughs> it's, look, it's entertaining. They wouldn't have made a show out of it. But literally the writer will tell you. It's the just... writer was like, no, this is not my best work in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> like, it's just, this is easy. And like, he's wrote 20 of those books. He wrote the... 20 of them. Yeah, yeah. Probably more. But it's kind of one of those things where literally the writer was like, uh, all right, I'm going to write the dumbest shit that can po I can possibly think man. of. It's, it's very <laughs> similar. Like, you know, I th imagine how many writers have done that, man. Imagine how many writers are like, this is this novel is brilliant. Fuck, but no one wants it. I guess I'll write another wizard or child story about, you know, Percy Jackson or some shit. Like, <laughs> you know, like it, it's crazy to me, but like it hits on different levels. So that, that's, a, that's a good tip. Well, literally, you when you have the classiest pick of this, of course, class. of course. I do. Well, literally, when you say "fuck," I thought that was also a funny scene where he's like, "I want to call this movie fuck." Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, "I love that." I love it. <laughs> oh, so yeah, man. No, mine is in a vein, I guess, to yours. No, mine is. Look, I've not made any qualms about my, what my favorite movie of the year is. It's they clone Tyrone. <laughs> I can watch that shit over and over and over. I love that goddamn movie That's so fair. much. That's fair. Yeah, and it's just, I don't know why. To me, rewatchability is a big part of, like, a best picture. It's like, yeah, no, Iron Claw is great. I'm not going to rewatch it. I, I think so. Because, I mean, you you like 12 Years a Slave, but you can only watch it once. I love it, but, yeah, I can only watch it I once. Feel I feel like it's my best picture. You're allowed to do <laughs> however because you want to do yeah. the math of it, where it's just kind of like rewatchability is a factor. To me, it's a big factor because, like, I, watch, I feel like I've watched City of God probably a hundred times. <laughs> like I have, and that's because it's look, it's a great movie. It's a quality movie. 
I feel it's the rewatch. But, but I will say on that note, that's what makes everything everywhere all at once so fucking special. It's just like I can rewatch yes, that movie. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can rewatch that movie over and over again too. And like, those are the movies to me that stick. I want to like get to a point like ten years from now, I can fucking say every line of this yeah. movie. You know, that's a favorite movie. That's what a classic movie <laughs> is. And so, yeah, no. They clone Tyrone is that for me, man. I I just had a fun. You were you were blast. singing its praises in the summer yeah. and you demanded like, hey man, we need to I made to. all of yeah. you motherfuckers watch it. Yeah, I really <laughs> did. I was like, nah, man, this this shit is great. Like this is this is good. This is some of the best sci fi I've seen in a really, really long time. And it's just quality. Yeah, everyone is good in it. Everybody is good in it. And again, it hits Maybe just because I'm, I'm I'm black. I don't know. Like, I know, you know, white people love it. But it's like, it, no, like my girl's brother absolutely loves that movie. But it's just like, no, for me, it really, like, to me, it's like, damn, no one really did ever make, like, a, a fun sci-fi movie about black stereotypes of, like, how much bullshit it kind of is, you know? I'm sorry to bother you. That's the only one I can That's think a, of. Yeah, that, yeah. And that one with the horse people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, yeah, you're right. No, that one that one deserves to be in the in the same vein as that too. But like I, I love that movie too. And it's just like I love that. I love the fact Yeah, chicken fried chicken that fucks you up and makes you know, like <laughs> shit like that, man. It just it hits so well. And I love movies that don't that tackle stereotypes, break stereotypes, but at the same time is like, you know what? Fuck it. If a lot of black people like fried chicken, you know what? What the fuck is wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this, you know, it's a part of the fucking cult. We can't be ashamed of our culture. Our culture is solid. It's fine. And anyone outside of it that makes you look feel like it's a bad thing, fuck you. I mean, and that movie kind of does that, too. I feel like this is a perfect time because it's the last day of Black History Month. It is! <laughs> American fiction and they clone Tyrone. I, I was about to say, like, 12 o'clock. this might be <laughs> a bad reference to make because of how far he's fallen. But, I mean, um, I do remember the joke by Dave Chappelle being like, if you don't like fried chicken and watermelon, dude, there's something wrong with you. No shit. <laughs> like, how the fuck did that shit go into like? Oh no, that's what those are bad. Like, no, they're not. White people eat that shit more than we do, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, it's just quality good food. Fuck, I don't know. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry we didn't adopt adopt steak as one of our dishes. You know, fuck we did. You. We did spaghetti. Hey, hey, George, who invented who made who made chicken wings and fucking crawfish a thing i thought that was us and now they charge 30 dollars for that shit but i'm just saying shit like that and you know but no i love that movie man i yeah. absolutely love it. it's so entertaining and so funny and just keeps you in it the whole time again i love the cinematography the writing the acting all around so, so that, this that's show absolutely my favorite the show's gone very long really long and uh i'm just gonna leave you can you can say two sentences at most okay is there any other film opinion from 2023 that you haven't Not brought up one. yet? No, I feel like I didn't. We yeah, left I'm, it all on the table. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we left it all out on the field. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The, this has been the Tommies, the best movie awards yeah, show. We're not bringing 2020. up any news from 2023 anymore. No, we're done. We're done. Uh, we actually brought movies up from 2024 we at did, this point. And on that note, Dune 4, I highly recommend. Jordan, get that mic out of his shot. Oh, Dune, yeah, Dune Part 2. I'm sorry, Dune 4. Dune Part 2, I highly recommend. I hate Dune 1. Wait, it is you, trash. you saw it? I did. And you like it? I saw it today, yes. Okay. It's fucking, it's my favorite, I mean, the year's still fresh, but it's my favorite movie of the year. Okay. Far. It's 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 quality. Even if you hate that first one, just watch this one. I, watch, I, did, I still haven't finished the first. Jordan. I'll, I'll watch both. No, no, see. no, no, no. I got no. to. Jordan, Jordan. I got to. Jordan, no. I got to. Jordan, no. Watch the second. You don't need to watch the first. I, I got to. <laughs> you get it. I got to watch it. Well, then you won't. You won't get through it. <laughs> Tell them about the show tomorrow. We have a show. Oh, we do have a show tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Tommies. Join us tomorrow. Sexless, yes. It'll be our first episode of the Sexless. Yes, Every episode after this, we'll, you're going to have to pay to watch. And this one you're going to have to pay to watch in the sense that you can only see it if you're a subscriber. Yep. So please be sure to be a subscriber yes. between now and tomorrow night. On Twitch. Um, on Twitch. I will be telling uh, the story of my first time. Well, we're all telling, we're all <laughs> no, telling no. the story of our first time. Mine is pretty memorable. Yeah. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this has been the, the Tommies. Golf clap. <laughs>